Hello everyone, welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. I'm Rob. I'm Mel. And we're here to play some more Lord of the Rings Living Card Game. And special note, uh, Ultra Violetta's happy birthday. Happy today. birthday, woo! Uh, I didn't mean to do it, but we decided not to play Monday or Tuesday and we decided to play Wednesday. It was, we didn't try to line that up in any way. Uh, yeah, you're just very lucky yeah. to have to watch us play today on your birthday. We're happy excited birthday. to celebrate with you. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. Uh, I'm sorry it won't be a win. Well, uh, if you were here last time, I highly doubt it, but I'm trying to sell it. So when we do win, it'll, it'll feel that much better, but I don't, I don't think it will. It feels magical. <laughs> 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 okay. All right. Uh, okay. We're here to play the same scenario as last time. Same scenario as last time. If you weren't here, uh, too bad for you. I'm not going to explain what's happening. You, but we're basically in the mines of Moria. Running from orcs. And there's a guy with a fire whip at the end. That's all. Uh, but we're playing it again, as voted on by the chat in the last stream of this series. If you're looking for that stream, it's linked down below in the video description. You can see the playlist of our other Lord of the Rings Living Card Game playthrough series down there if you want to go watch some of those. Uh, instead of watching this first. Uh, but just hit the like button before you leave. Also, thank you to the 12 people who clicked the like button already. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank very much. you. Thank you. Matthew's here. Hello. Hello. Kate, what's up? Hello. <laughs> I blame that striped shirt last stream for the loss. Uh, oh, I do. Have, there is some stripes on here. So I'm wearing a dark blue shirt, but it does have black stripes on it. You probably can't see that well, but... Uh, I don't know. Oh, I don't that's know better. Can, I don't know if you better. see those black stripes, but uh oh. It's so the, is stripes it's the problem, the or the color was the problem? I don't know. We'll find out. I also I also put my hat a different orientation. I got it backwards, so you can see the line here. So hopefully it's like a superstition thing. If I wear the hat in a different orientation, maybe that will help with our luck uh, from the deck and our play, and all, all the decks, I guess, at the table. Yeah. Hi, Dan been a while uh, hope you're doing well hello mr roberts uh your update sounds about as good as your hat looks <laughs> i think gandalf has been into the pipe weed today it's funny because he wrote that like as you were talking about your hat yeah on purpose i i, I switched it right before the stream started i was i'm putting it on backwards and it's gonna look all funny uh also to bug matthew rose who called this a muggle hat last time yeah. i haven't forgotten no it, just, it hurt me deep <laughs> I mean, it looks more like a muggle hat this way. Yes, that, that's the play. But it's going to help us win, so good luck. I put the hat on backwards. It's going to help us. Bradley, thank you for the good luck. Thank you. Thank we you, probably need you. it. <laughs> Definitely need it. All right, let's get us started. Let's <laughs> you get took into those it. archers out of the deck, right? <laughs> uh, uh, if we start with the two archers, I'm shuffling Shuff up. Yeah. We'll do it again. Exactly. We're not doing that again. But uh, hopefully it's not going to work out that way. Uh, so shuffle our decks. Go shuffle. Place heroes and set initial threat levels. Set up the token bank. Done. Determine first player. Who should be first player? What do you think? Um, you can decide. You, maybe? I don't know if there's, there's anything that affects okay. the first player the you first turn. You just made me first player. There you go. All right. Uh, draw a set up hand. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Okay, hold on. This is a little different. This is good? Or... I don't know if it's good, oh. but like a card like this, right? We're trying to, uh, now that we know more of this scenario because we played it last episode, trying to quest, push through the questing at the first stage and the last stage, even a middle stage it was needed. Yeah. And having this early might be huge. Okay. Might be huge on, on uh, uh, Eowyn. On Eowyn. Um, also, I drew into this. Oh, expensive, but... Drew. Janet, thank you for the super chat. Lord of the Rings rally hat session. Always brings good luck. Janet, thank you <laughs> Janet, so thank much. thank you for the super chat. Thank you. <laughs> so, this is expensive, yes, but this was given to us in the previous scenario. But look, yeah. attached hero gets plus one to everything. And I can attach it to... Uh, Gandalf, who does a lot, right? Uh, no, only a noble oh. hero. So it's one of these two. Or if... You have a noble. I, I do not. This what's this make your guys anything? No. Oh, okay. 
Oh, Ranger. Sorry, Ranger. Ranger. So I have Gandalf and Istaria and a Warrior. But yeah, I could attach it to one of these two. It's not like amazing, but I mean, like, again, if I attach it to like Theodred, he's now questing for two. Or if I leave him standing up, he hits for three. Um. After an attack, which uh, after an attack in which the attached hero defended resolves, exhausts this to target that enemy that just attacked. Declare attached hero as an attacker against that enemy and resolve the attack. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't uh, think I'll defend with Theodred or Eowyn like ever. That's the problem. Yeah. But this just for the buff, the ta the the stats. But is that worth three money? I don't know. Maybe not right the second, but. I do have a little flame of Arnor for like some attack on those big dudes that come out with Gandalf. I got Gladriel for search and uh, Bilbo for search to get attachments going. This might be a silly question, but do you get to also look at the top card of your deck right now? No, I don't think so. It just says play with the top card of your deck face up, but I don't know if I have it face up in setup. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure. I don't know. I feel like we haven't even started yet. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't have uh, the money card. Oh, yeah, I can look, I guess. Oh, I also have. Oh, okay. Then maybe I mulligan looking for a Steward of Gondor then. I have that too. Oh, you have it. Okay, then maybe we keep. Okay, I could I could keep. Or, or, I don't or, need this necessarily. I could, toss. I could toss. But Steward of Gondor is good. I don't know. Like, uh, we need allies. Bill yeah. comes in for free. This, yeah, this lets me hand. put in... Yeah, if I take out those two, this lets me play all of this first round, giving me three allies and giving this to somebody. All so first Gandalf. round. Gandalf two cards. It. This card will obviously build towards, and then uh, this is just a throwaway for um, hmm. whoever that girl's name is. Glad I, do, I do have Shadow Cancel, too, for that one that makes like a guy attack twice that happened that kind of screwed us up a bit. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe this isn't a keeper, then, if you have Stuart of Gondor. Or maybe it is a keeper because you have it. Oh, man. Yeah, now Mel I has can't, the rock in I, here. I can't play both of these the first turn, so I mean it's gonna take a little it's yeah, gonna take a fine. minute. That's fine. But at least they're gonna come into play. Right. Like right away. So I could mulligan knowing that like these are there, so I don't need this is a dead card now, right? Or yours is a dead card. Yeah, which is fine because I could throw away for your ability. I know, but it's better to have cards that like are gonna matter. Hmm. You want to uh, go to a noble honor card? It it uh Eowyn, right? I keep calling her Gladriel too, but it's Eowyn. Oh, Eowyn. Yeah, Eowyn's a noble. I was so, calling her Gladriel. So is, uh, so is Theodred. Noble and noble. Noble and noble. Nobles, nobles. Yeah, so I could attach it to, like, Eowyn, and she's even, even beefier, because she could take both these restricted cards, and then she's plus three on questing. Yeah, I mean, that's very good. Oh, in my hand. Sorry, duh. Yeah, she's a noble. <laughs> I, I forgot I had it. <laughs> Uh, she goes away, though. Yeah, she leaves at the end of the round, right? Yeah. I wish she stayed around. If I had a way to blank her text, I could keep her in play. We have a, a character blanking attachment. I don't know if that exists in this game. But I remember it was a thing in Game of Thrones. Oh, this is a scenario that has those silly attachments. Yes. Yeah, so uh, someone's going to be, like, out of the game. A couple of people, I think. Yeah. Uh, Unless I can get Elrond to remove them in a timely fashion. Yeah, that's key, actually. Yeah, we got this one. Overcome by grief, the staging area. After a character is destroyed, attach it to a hero. Any hero. After a character you control, you control is destroyed, exhaust attached hero. Until the end of the round, attached hero cannot ready. Yeah, and I'm happy to put another one on Pippin. He, he, like, just having but him there for... should this be for you? Like, do you have characters you get destroyed as often because you have bigger defenders if you get them in play? I don't know. I mean, the characters I'm going to play right off the hop are, are not huge, oh, okay, okay. but... And then this other one after a hero takes damage, so that one, like... Ugh. And then you attach it. They ex anytime the attached hero exhausts, deal the damage to it. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. Maybe do it the same way. Yeah, I, I can definitely put one on. But yeah, now I remember I basically had my Theodred exhausted like the whole time. Right, so, I would so never you don't want to put, this. yeah. Yeah, maybe I keep it to just slap this on her and you slap the other one on her like next round. And then she's like a plus three on, on uh, questing. So it's like seven quest points every round. Yeah. But it, there is attachment hate in this scenario, so... Yeah, that's why I like those Hobbit Cloaks and putting extra Hobbit Cloaks out there. Yeah, that could hurt, But actually. I mean, if we don't get it, if we don't get them fast enough. Mm -hmm. I mean, there is a play, I, you play yours, I hold mine. And I, then... I think I keep... If we have to get rid of... Yeah, I think I'm going to keep two, just for the three allies yeah. right off the hop. 
And then mm. one of these. He comments in the chat. Does this go on Gandalf, would you say? This goes on Gandalf. Yes. This okay. Because he plays stuff off the top and I have some price yeah. of cards. Okay. And he's flexible. Okay. So he can also pay for neutral stuff like this. Um would it be funny if a treachery card blanked the text but not the tree? Uh, there was one. I can't remember if it they, was. They in... do that usually. Yeah, but there's one that either in this one or the one we played previous that did have where it blanked all of our text boxes. Remember? Because then Sam couldn't ready and you gotta remember that. I just can't remember if it was this one. You gotta remember those, because if they last till the end of the round, then I don't know if, if my character leaves play. It probably does, but... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it was this scenario. Yeah, I can't remember if it was this one or the last scenario that we played, but there was one that did it. I feel like it was this one. Yeah, maybe. All those treacheries back to back to back. We yeah, gotta shuffle disgusting. that. Shuffle that. Oh, deck it's up. it's one of the burdens. Oh, it's one of the burdens. Shadow of fear. Doomed one in surge. When revealed until the end of the round, treat the printed text box of each character in play. So, end of round effects. Uh, do we choose the order? Is it all simultaneous? Like, does that keep her in play? This says, at, I know there's a, a wording, like I know at the end of the round and until the end of the round and before the end of the round and during the end of the round and when the end of round completes and the next day after the end of round, those are all like little timing things usually in these stupid LCGs. I remember having, having to come up with like magical words to remember like things that happen during the same exact wording. Round ends. The end of the round is an important game milestone. This is not helpful. No, you need the I reference with like the charts. I know, I was just looking. It goes oh, serious. Yeah. Serious. Oh, I don't think it's that book. Well, I was just looking at this one. This one the rules good. reference, yeah, yeah. This doesn't have the charts, does yeah, it? Yeah, it does. It's the rules reference. Oh, this one. Okay. Hey, Jason. Jason, looking forward to watching this tonight with you guys. Have you tried the other Lord of the Rings card game? I think it may be made by. Aries game? Uh, oh, the War of the Ring, the card game? Is that what you mean? Have you tried the other Lord of the Rings card game? There have been a few Lord of the Rings card games over the last, like, 20 to 20 plus years, 25 years maybe. Um, we've played, like, Lord of the Rings, the deck building game. I've played this LCG. I know there was Lord of the Rings, the collectible card game for a time. I never played it. Uh, we played War of the Ring, the card game. We've played that on the channel. We have a few videos of that. What else? Lord of the Rings Confrontation? Kind of a board game though. But it has cards in it. I don't know. I don't know. This is what we get. We get the timing. Oh, War of the Rings. Yeah, we have yeah, videos we, on we, the we channel. Yeah, we played that. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah, we played the, the prototype or the pre-release copy of it. Yeah. Not the production copy though. But I think it's like almost the same. Yeah, we just get end of the round. So it goes to like refresh phase. Oh, sorry, maybe this isn't. Is that considered an oh end of the round is just like literally end of the round. Okay, They're... Kate Kate's got us, I think, from BGG. One players have one last action window before the end of, end of the phase. Any at end of the phase affects trigger. So I guess we would get to choose, right? Because multiple are ha happening at the same time. I I think this would happen before this blanking wears off. That's what I would think. Until the end of the round. Or is the until the end of the round starts and the end of the round is like its own thing? <sighs> 2A, if this is the refresh phase, any at end of round effects also trigger at the same time, I would think. The phase completely ends and the next phase begins simultaneously. Oh my god. Hey, Larry. And if the last phase was refresh, then this at the start, not just a new phase, but a new round at the same time. There's never a period of limbo where you're between phases. Any at start of phase and possibly at start of round effects trigger, players have their first action window of the phase. So we would trigger ours first then. This is never going to line up, I don't think. Like, what are the odds? It that... probably has, though. Like, I didn't even think of it. But I don't know. Somebody will comment in a in a comment later 
who knows the sneak, sneaky stuff like that. Because, like, you know what you know what this would be looked up for is Gandalf. Because oh, Gandalf yeah. is at the end of the round. I bet if we Googled, which I'll do in one second, uh, Shadow of Fear in Gandalf or until the end of the round blanked tech boxes. This is not the first card that blanks text boxes until the end of the round, I bet you. But in other FFG games, you usually can, like, cheat that, that kind of stuff, but I don't know. Treat text box as blank and Gandalf. I'm playing through Lord of the Rings Saga in campaign mode and drew a burden card, Shadow of Fear. Whoa, I didn't even Google Shadow of Fear. I just searched Gandalf and blank end of round. Uh, I had Gandalf to play at the time, so my question is, do I get to keep him for an extra turn? Basically, yes. Even more so with the over the hill and under hill Gandalf, since its force effect came into play at the end of the refresh phase, which is before the end of the round. Thanks. If I sneak attack an ally before this burden is revealed, does it apply to cards already in play? No, no, the, that, that effect would still be floating, I think. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, someone's saying, well, what about core Gandalf? Do you get to keep him in play? Uh, I was also wondering this, which is why what partly prompted the OP even though, da, da, da. If multiple effects of the same kind, action response force has the same timing, like sneak attack, Bjorn, blah blah. The players choose the order of resolution. So, in the example, before I kind of choose the shuffle, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Oh, should this also apply to Alrond and Galadriel allies? Indeed, it does. Sormon, too. Well, and if, well, this is true. In the case of this treachery, you aren't really deciding the order of the end of round effects. You can't choose the handle. Gandalf's end of round effect first while it is blanked because while it is blanked, it doesn't exist at all. Oh, uh -huh. that's like <laughs> that's neck level. <laughs> the question really is if end of round effects that don't exist will pop back into play and have to be resolved after the end of round effect from the treachery expires until the end of round is a passive effect, but is until inclusive of the end of round? That's what I was thinking. Like, does it include the whole end of round or? Does it end when the end of round starts? Hmm. <laughs> but if memory serves, we've seen Caleb embrace the exclusive until weirdness with end of phase happenings, causing an action window in end of phase test make until end of phase even event worthless. What? I think, in this case, it is exclusive, i.e. until the end of the round means until you have play your last action in the refresh phase, and thus before the round is ended, the effect is gone, and then Gandalf, Elrond, and Gladiator smartly play. Hmm. I believe I found a ruling from Caleb. First, I found this thread, which contains a link to this thread in French, which I can't read, which contains this quote in English from Caleb. <laughs> the nine are broad reads until the end of the round, at which time its effect expires. At that time, Gandalf's effect will require him to be discarded. Uh, when revealed, treat the text box blank. Just to tidy up the thread for anyone who might find this in the future, unlike core Gandalf, overhill and underhill Gandalf, would like El Elfhelm remain in play without having to increase your threat by two until next turn, as his response activates the ends of the refresh phase. Mm -mm.
Okay, let's see this. Uh, when an encounter card lasting effect is until the end of the round, I think of it using the standard mathematical notation for a half. Man, crazy how people <laughs> like come up with like whatever they need to. Yeah. According to this mathematical formula. Why can't FFG just make it easy? Yeah, I don't know. This is like from their own forums and they don't answer stuff in their own forums before. That's why they got rid of them. Oh. Yeah. So we'll just discard them. Whatever, we can't cheat, it's fine. If we didn't look it up, we maybe could have. I know, I don't know. I don't know, whatever. Whatever, okay. So. Alrighty. Uh... I don't know. I don't have any um, win reveal cancel. Okay. I know, Kate. That's why I'm. I'm like, yeah, like Mel saying it's like, yeah, the uh, Game of Thrones. Remember the I tournaments? Know, like, I know. All the stupid, like, like Kate was listening before all the like one, one point, one point, one, one point, one point three, two. This happens. This happens. Yeah. But then, in case this happens, then a new card comes out, and all of a sudden they're like, "Let's add red text to the thing, adding in new steps and phases because we screwed up something, and now we have to make it work with some other old card." So let's just add three more pages to the rules reference guide. Why not? And then tournament players will have to figure it out. And then you're sitting there in tournaments and like. The judge is over there going, what are you guys talking about? And I'm explaining, this is in the rule book. And the other guy's like, no, it's not. And we're looking up rules. And the judge is like, I, I didn't even know this was in here. It's like, yeah, it was added because this one weird card exists. And somebody had to ask the dumb question or somebody just made broke the card. Because they read the word this way versus that way. Well, I think everybody wants to interpret it to their advantage. Mm, it's just sometimes a language thing. People yeah. Are, take words to mean other things, and whoever designs the card thinks of it a certain way. It's just everyone has different backgrounds, different understandings. English sucks, and that's just how it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's a co-op game. I mean, play it however you want. It was just a curiosity thing. Like, sometimes they put things in that's like cute little interactions that you don't realize work that way, and it's like, oh, when you figure it out, it's like one of those fun discovery uh, things, and you're like, oh, that's cool. It like may never happen, but when it happens in a game, it just adds to that like storytelling of a play session and people remember those kind of interactions and things and they get them to come back to the game and you have those like once in every, you know, 30 plays, this thing happened. It's those cool moments, you know? Okay, I don't know if I should keep. I, I really don't. I think I'm... Uh... You're, you're welcome to, to see what you get because again, I have these two cards. I know. And I'm keeping mine, so you have these two. Okay, yeah, not I'll toss. Not necessarily right fun. away. We'll decide which one's better to play first, yeah. but based on what you get. I could get a whole load of trash, but that wasn't that great. But I had allies, I had attachments. This is the pinnacle moment. I need, we like, win or lose the game. <laughs> I know, I know, that's why I'm taking it so serious. I know, I know. Because if it works on Gladriel, I'll keep her, and then maybe that happens, you know, like, mm -hmm. but it's I'm not going to line up, like, but you never know. But yeah, if I could have some win revealed cancel, Gandalf staff would be nice. A couple cheap allies, maybe some of those guys to hit oh, some yeah. of these locations. I do need to build up a board of allies. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Wizard Pipe, Northern Tracker, Test the Will, that's when I started. Oh yeah, I forgot oh, about Unexpected Courages. Ooh, yeah, we talked about that at the end of the last stream, I just remembered. I should look through my deck to see like what cards I should a look for. A lot of blue. Yeah, I know, that is a problem. That kind of happened last time too, actually. I was kind of a resource choked. Yeah. I mean, you could attach the steward on on her. And oh, it, I'm gonna give it to you, and you decide. Like, like, and then it helps get these guys out faster. But then at some point, I do need to let guys die, and these aren't exactly the guys you want dying. But these will help us get through location lock. Yeah. Huh. Huh. But can you one of those cards put one of those guys back on the top of your deck that then Gandalf can play if Gandalf? Oh uh, yeah, the pipe. Yes, yeah, so and if Gandalf gets the resource. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's how I usually trick around it. Okay. 
Test the will. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, Pizza's not bad. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. So my hand is good. Yours is not bad. I just could have like maybe little, we have a better shot. I maybe a purple ally. You know, little little one costers have been nice there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm first. Uh, money. Uh, we don't draw cards because of stupid Gandalf's delay. Yep. Still punishing us. Uh, so I'm definitely attaching unexpected courage. There. Um. Feel free to use his as well. Yeah, true. For neutrals. Yeah, I just don't have the money yet to switch it around, so I shouldn't yet. Yeah, I will do it just to put wizard pipe out, I guess. Yep. And that's it. Unfortunately, yeah, I just need a cheap ally, but these aren't the cheap allies. Okay, so what would you like first? The other one will take two rounds. Well, since this can go into play right when it comes in, it's not going to help me right now because it goes on Gandalf and he just sits there with money and I can't play him because so my part's already passed. The play. So you might as well, let's get the let's get the quest thing going, I think. All right, Bill the Pony comes in, to free, in for free because of Sam. Then we'll play Max Hand <laughs> and we'll play... Dan, I, Hammersmith. Oh, should we have done this first? Dan, that card is on the uh, restricted list. I'm not allowed to play with it. I'm sorry. I think we should have done that before we actually oh. started, but that's okay. Oh, yeah, we haven't done setup yet. <laughs> we went right into it. Yeah, oh, we're my just God. excited. Yeah, we haven't even finished setup. Wow. All good. Yeah, yeah, we got deep. We're playing campaign mode, everyone. Yeah, just in case you didn't know, we're playing campaign mode. <laughs> Shuffle the burden, treachery cards. We already did that into the deck. Add these two other garbage cards to the staging area. Done. Okay. Okay. Then I already did some of this stuff. Uh, so we sent the Balrog, the Great Bridge, the Chamber out of play. Doom, Doom, Doom is added to the staging area. We put ten damage on it. Each player adds one different location to the staging area, and then shuffle the encounter deck. So we'll do that part. Um, so our location options, I pulled all four of them out to kind of make this easier for us. And feel free to chime in if you're watching at home live. If you're watching later, keep your mouth shut. I don't want to hear it. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, they, you can drop they comments below. They can tell below. us what we should have taken. Yeah, yeah. When we, when we lose at the end, you'll be like, remember, you guys should have took that location. Ah, I wish I was there live. I would have told you this. Uh, okay, we got Darkened Stairway. Four threat in the staging area. Two to get through it. Not bad. Not bad. But four in the staging Forced, area. Forced, after it's explored, just, this screwed us last time, yeah. we got a location, we were like... Both times, I think. Yeah, we're like, we probably won't get one. It's, it, it might get us ahead. And uh, of course, we got a location that dropped in and kind of made it hard for us. Yeah. Um, okay, it's dark and stairway. We also have, and these all have duplicates in there, some of them more than others, so we will see these as we play too. Uh, we have Mines of Moria, two threat, four to explore it. Uh, while Mines of Moria is in the staging area, progress must be placed on Mines of Moria before it can be placed on the current quest. I do like this one. But it does slow us down getting through the first stage. Yeah. Because for sure, four has to go on here. Even if we're not, it's not active location. Right. But it's only once in the staging area. I don't know. It only adds two threat, though, at the beginning. Yeah. But it still blocks us for four. This one's scary. Many Pillar Hall. Uh, this one's only one threat, but it's six. It gets plus, well, it's two, actually, because it gets one for each many pillared hall in play. Right. And if another one comes out, it just buffs it even more. Yeah, I think there's three or four of these in the encounter deck, even though we're playing on easy mode, there's still that many of them, so they can get a little out of control. Yeah. So you do have to take care of them and clean them up, but six to get through one, it's mm -hmm. going to sit around for a while. Yeah. But if you look at that shadow effect, you might want to have them in play. But right now... But right now we're not above 35. We, but it's still plus one attack, which can be the difference between like a character dying and not. Or True. someone taking damage and not, and we get that attachment. True. Ancient Guard Room. Three threat on this one. Three to get through it. Nice balance. Uh, when it is the active location, each enemy in play gets minus one attack. Travel. You discard the top card of the entire deck to travel here. Each player raises their threat by X. X is the discarded card's threat. And just a taste, it could be up to even like four here. But I don't even know. Some of the enemies even are probably like... There's X, that's two. Two. Oh, there's a four enemy, the chieftain guy. 
Uh, three from the orc. I mean, it could be nothing. Mm -hmm. Could be blank is what we're hoping for because there's lots of treacheries. This one I'm not opposed to taking. Especially if we take this one, travel to the other one that we take, leave this for the second phase of the game when we're... You're saying this in there for three. And what's the other one you were thinking? For me, I like the Mines of Moria just because it is a... It is, well, or the Darkened Stairway, but the Darkened Stairway, we have to reveal a card, and that's kind of scary too. And like you said, I don't know. It didn't work out the last two times, but they're both four and two technically. The other one's just easier to get through initially. But then once we travel there, it won't matter. So I'm not sure about this one. I like maybe Mines of Moria? Mines of Moria, let's do it. Which let's... we did take that one last time, but I don't remember what the second one we took. I think we took that one. I think we took one. this one. Maybe. I think we took this one. No, I don't think so. No? But oh, maybe, okay. maybe we did. I don't know. I don't know. But we'll see if this works. So right now we have five in there. Okay. All right. Alan, hello. Hello, thank Alan. You. Can't stay tonight, but good luck, Robin Mel. Thank you, thank you. Hope you're doing well, hope Alan. You're still doing good. Yeah, hope you're doing well, if you know what I'm saying. He knows what we're saying. <laughs> Need to get this guy in play. Need a stone. Kate likes mines, okay. Yeah, okay. I do too. I do too, it's not bad. The two is good. It can't lead to worse things, which is good. Awesome. Yes, doing great. Awesome. Great. Uh, later. See you later. <laughs> later. Well, we got 20 likes. Thank you for clicking the like button, everybody. Thank, thank you. Much appreciate it. Okay. Okay, so sorry. Then we That's played our cards. We, we were just... Oh, no. And then we got to flip this one. Oh, yeah. Forced. After a player optionally engages enemy, remove one uh, damage from Doom Doom Doom. Okay, so let's not optionally engage anyone. Or, yeah, we'll see. But remember, we want enemies there for the second phase because that's the one, uh, the second stage, we needed to have six, six resource counters on it before we could travel or pass the quest or whatever because we had to have basically enemies dead per resource token. So we need enemies. And if we didn't have enemies at the start of the staging, in the staging area, we had to draw an extra card from the counter deck, if I remember correctly, yep. to try to, I think that's the game's way of trying to get enemies into play. So you have stuff to fight, so you don't get stuck forever there. Okay. All right. You're first for questing. Questing. Okay. I'll put both these guys in. I'll give the resource to Gladriel. Um, I mean, I think I'll... Yeah, we're ideally not fighting anything. It's... What's this guy again? He's the one that defends with threat goes up. Hmm. Yeah, I'll put Gandalf in, but then he'll ready up from Unexpected Courage. So, 1, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 15. 17. 18. 18. 19, 20. Maybe. Yeah. I don't go too nuts, but I, I mean... I don't think we're going to pass it, because we're going to get other things. Oh yeah, we have this. This is four. It's going to eat up. So it's like 18 alone. We're yeah. already at five. Yeah, you 20. might as well. I can put, I can put one more. Uh, that's up to you. Yeah. No, I'll just do 20. We still can pitch. I can pitch, yeah, because I... Okay, so this is my card. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Wow. But he can't attack. Right now. Cannot have attachments for each point of excess combat damage dealt by this jerk face. Dealt beyond the remaining hit points of the character damage by this attack. Remove one progress from the current quest. Okay. Oh, that's a timing. Maybe I can get a feint out in time Huge or something. Huge timing thing, yeah. Okay. Don't want to chump block that guy, basically. Or chump block when you have no progress anyway. Right, and it won't matter. And be ready to get rid of him fast. Okay, my card is... Oh, this is mine, actually. Or, sorry, your card is... Yeah, we're not... You're not first, as usual. Peril. Mm, sorry. I can't help you here. When revealed, remove a character you control from the quest and discard the top card of the encounter deck. If that character's printed willpower is less than the discarded card's threat, discard that character. Just remove this, like, Bill Pony guy. Or, well, you should have put this guy in, like I said. Well, now I realize this now. Yeah, so pretend you did, because you should have, and I said you should have. So you want to do that guy? Remove him from it? 
So uh, it'd go down to 20s removed oh, yeah. anyway. Yeah. Okay. No, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm not supposed to help you in any way, but, you know, we can do a little, little, little rollback. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to kill him, I know, and it's going to lose a three. No, we'll probably just get a treachery card off the top. Okay, go ahead. Anything. Go ahead. It's one. Go ahead. Move one character control from the quest. Yeah, that's one. Oh, Nothing. Okay. Oh, Shadow of Fear. See ya. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> okay. There's still a 20. Okay, so we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <coughs> okay, me. so we're up 12. Yeah, Rob is totally not talking right now. No, well, I can't, I can't play cards and cancel it and stuff. I know I'm not supposed to, like, give any kind of encouragement, but this was unrelated. It's like, I, I was sitting there, like, telling her, like, yeah, yeah, put more yeah. in, like. <clears throat> okay, so there is a play where we do both discard. Oh, I can't discard a card unless I discard this one. Yeah, don't it's at, discard. Yeah, that's... it's at 12 out of 14. Oh. Like, I could discard this one, saving Steward for you. We need Steward, man. Yeah. I'm telling you, that's like, I have this these two Northern good. Trackers. I know he is good, too. But it's one turn faster than... But I can't take him. I don't remember exactly what... Oh. <laughs> I can't remember exactly Oh, yeah, mine's first. Mine's has to take four. Right? Remember? Oh, yeah. Okay. So... Four is going to go there. And yeah, yeah. Then and how much two gets? Is, never mind. So then it doesn't matter. Uh, never mind. Okay, good, good. I could pitch a wizard pipe, but I know there's location heat. So it's like. That does get rid of that as well. Yeah. So yeah, then it doesn't matter. We still have one more turn, anyways. Okay, so I feel like we travel here, right? Get this three out of the staging area. So sorry, there's eight here. Yeah. I forgot about the mines. Yeah, I'll pitch wizard pipe. You can put one more there. Okay. Oh, and then at the end of the quest phase, we remove one of these. Uh -huh. And then travel. Those Make reduces that guy attack. hit less. But, but travel, we gotta discard the top card of the tyrant deck to travel here. Each player raises a threat by X. X is discarded cards. Threat. Unless you don't want to do that this turn. Yeah. Because we could save it one more turn if we're not completing this anyways. But then we just let stuff build in the stage. Yeah, again. you're right. I don't okay. want to do okay. that. Do we have to do two cards? Wait, discard the travel. Discard the top card of the counter deck oh, to travel here. Each player raises their threat by X. X is the discarded cards. Uh, threat. It's two. Two. Our threat goes up by two. 22. 33. Okay. And he's also plus three yeah, right so now. Yeah, so he's 39 because of your little hobbit shenanigans. Yep. Okay. I'm not optionally engaging anybody. Mm, yeah, nope. All right, ready up. Raise threat. 34, pass first player. Oh, yeah, sorry. Let me put him. And draw a card. Resources. Boop. 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 Oh, card draw. Yeah. Okay, so I'm first. Can't do anything. Go ahead. Where the hell is my attachment to give me money? I need. A, I told you. I. You're holding the purse on me. I told you it cost me two to give you the other one. Oh, it takes me no. two rounds oh, to get I thought this. It was one more round. No, no, no. Then huh. I did not know uh, who went first. It was me, right? Oh, I couldn't give you the money off no. the other. Never mind. This is why you need to go first. You didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah, that's okay. But you can wait one more turn, right? I guess. Well, but I again, choice. how are we getting northern trackers in play to start good? I don't mean they don't need it now. Not needed yet, but next turn, next turn. <sighs> I probably should have done it the other way. We didn't probably need the two willpower. Yeah. Because the two influx of money having it one turn sooner. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe that was the reason we lose. Yeah. Well, whatever. We'll see. Yep. Let's use wizard pipe. We're going to switch this card for this card. Then we're going to play... One from here. Three from here. To play a Northern Tracker. Mm -hmm. I can't play that because you have him. Okay. 
<clears throat> oh, sorry. A fellowship or a ring bear. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, that is it for me. Okay. Same. Okay. Westing. Doing the same thing again. So we're going to go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven for me. Uh, who should get the resource from Theodrid? I think Northern Tracker, maybe Blue still, but... The only one I'm trying to play is this guy, but if... Red? It, it's fine right now. Like, he's just good when we get the, um, Archer guys eventually. Okay. But no, we're fine right now. Yeah, take it. Okay, sweet, thanks. And then how much are you putting in? Four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes. Okay, we're at twenty-two. Oh, but we're gonna have enemies like jump us right after this. That's the problem, I think. Can we quest through? Well, they'll all be plus four. Oh yeah, true. So, all right, your card. Mm -hmm. Where's our archer? Oh, serenity. Winter field. Assign X damage among characters you control. Which is two. I'll put on here. That's our combat. Does it again. Mm -hmm. uh, I could cancel oh, the winter field. Somebody took a damage. Is that? It's a hero, no, right? No, characters are destroyed or a hero takes okay. a damage. Okay. We're good right now. Hmm. What were you saying? You can cancel that one reveal? Yeah, just to prevent the two damage, but I think because I'm worried about the next two damage too, right? Yeah. Uh, Problem is I'm not ready to attack. That was silly. I probably should have left. I, even so, I wouldn't have had six damage. I'll heal ready. But yeah, he only hit for two. No. I don't know. I don't know, I'm debating, because like if we can't take care of that guy right now, we're in trouble again. This is the problem. We need to like take them, drop that down, and kill them. Like that's like honestly, it's better. Everybody's knelt. I, I can't I know, do I anything know. about that. I could take all the damage. But uh um, I kill a hero, that's a problem. So it's like whoops. Okay. Peril. Oh, same thing. This is my card. Remove a character you control from the quest. Discard the top card of the card. Mm. Mm. I'm going to cancel it. I have to. Mm -hmm. If I remove him, that's a four-cost ally is gone. Yep. But like I did last time, I made that mistake of just chump logging with this guy and he died. Like, right away. If I try Gandalf, who's a three, that takes three out of the quest. That sucks. Gandalf could die. Eowyn's the best play because she's four, so she's probably immune to whatever happens. But that takes six out of the quest, so that's sucky. Uh, whoops, wrong discard pile. Cancel. All right. Uh, engagement. Oh, sorry. So we're at. Oh yeah. We sorry. didn't take anyone out. We're I, at yeah, twenty-two. We didn't finish quest. I'm that's like okay. getting way ahead of myself. So we're at five. We okay. Like blow through it. Yeah. So three goes there. That's a total of eight. And then what so do we? So discard the. Oh, that was travel effect. Never mind. Oh yeah, he's minus one attack. Oh, never mind. Whatever. Oh yeah, I mean that, so that takes been good. away three. three. The and rest then, clears it. Yeah. Whatever, right. Yeah, because we only spent eight out of our twenty-two. Okay. 
When revealed, add the set aside chamber of Marzable to the staging area. Four threat. I mean, to player card effects, players cannot advance to the next stage. Travel. Each player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a different enemy as is the staging area to travel here. One of those enemies must be Orc Chieftain if able. Forgot about this. Okay. Yeah, it's just another way for us to get enemies when we need to to keep fighting. Okay. Uh, at the beginning of the quest phase, if there are no enemies in the staging area, the first player reveals one additional encounter card during the staging step. Okay. Forced, after an enemy is defeated, place one resource on the stage. The players cannot advance unless there are X resources on the stage. X is the number of players in the game times three. We need six resource tokens on this to advance, plus we need to get rid of the Chamber of Marzable, which will cause us to get enemies. And did then no, end now, of quest, yep, we remove so now that. We'll do this now. So travel. do we not travel then? We'll get a whole bunch of enemies. But then we have to try to outquest them. Yeah. It and might we're not be, even ready to fight the other yeah, ones. Yeah, it have. might be easier to okay. not yep. this turn. Hold up. Okay. Okay. Okay, and then in combat, this archery is going to do more damage, right? Two more damage. Uh, I can I, take one. I can definitely deal some here. Okay, I can put one on here. I just don't want to lose these guys yet. Okay. Okay, and then done. Mm -hmm. Ready okay. up. Master threat. Slayer, 35 24. threat. Draw. That's the will again. <gasps> yes, yes. Oh, no, I don't have enough money. I don't have enough money. Oops. Dang it. I should have, yeah, that's okay, I didn't know, didn't know. I don't have enough money to pay for my Hobbit Cloak to defend. One, two, one, two, three. He's only attacking for three, so I guess it's okay. Yeah, we definitely should have played that steward first, because now it's another turn where it's like not coming to use. That sucks. Sorry. Yeah, I should have like counted like, I thought it was the very next round, but if you said it was like, oh, two rounds yeah, from now. Yeah, two turns is what I was saying, because yeah, they were both two costs. I didn't hear that. I wish I would have known, because like we've literally dumped how many resources. I should just mulligan for it, but I didn't get it anyway. I did mulligan, actually. Yeah. 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 You're right. I should have played it first, because yeah. the two extra, uh, yeah. we didn't necessarily. I didn't realize it was going to take you so long to get it out and play. That sucks. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, because now I'm like locked again. I can't. I should be playing this guy right now, but. I can't, and I gotta wait. See it. Can you put him on the top of your deck? To just sit there? Like, was that the least this card I can play? Yeah, yeah. So. Oh, I see. I guess I'll play this, uh, or maybe I save it for when we're rushing out past the Balrog, maybe, because we don't really need the willpower right now, but we will once we're fighting enemies. Because once a character's destroyed, oh yeah, but then the Balrog's like destroying characters like crazy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me do this. I'm going to put this out on the ring bearer for fun. The attachment that we could get rid of. But after characters character destroyed, it goes away anyway. Okay. But now all heroes have plus one willpower, which will help for that card that comes off that says remove a guy and pull a card. Like, yep. I don't know. Not that we would do that, but... Um, that's it. Okay, so then here's a, here's a question for you, and I'm asking seriously. If you can't use this this turn, and I'm going to be first next turn, can I play this? Yeah. And then I'll put this on you first yep. next turn, because you can't play it anyways? Yep, yep. Okay, because then this I can actually use on those guys. Okay. And then I'm done. All right. Questing. What do we have in there? Three, four, five, nine. Nine is in there right now. I can take one of those enemies. Can you feign it? No. This guy? No. So oh, no, I can't take that guy. Uh, he can defend for one, two, three, four, five. I can, he can defend for five, but... He only hits for six. But then he would take... Yeah, he would take that and then not be one? not be able to be used again. Oh, yeah, when the character's destroyed. Okay. Hmm. But what are you at? For threat? Because he can stay there. 35. Yeah, and they're pl he's plus three. 
I just want to get the archer out of there. I mean, we can do this to like block his attack, right? So it does no damage. And then, but our threat goes up by two each. I don't even know if I can do that much. Uh, uh, I could hit back for only, oh. only, only four, six, seven, eight. Not mm, enough. Not enough. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I can't even kill him this turn. Actually. Yeah. Oh, I don't know we need quests so much. Yeah, I'll do it well, anyway. Yeah, we have nine in there, so it's up to okay. you. Uh one, two, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So if you're able to like take care of enemies. I'm just like... gonna put him in because he readies and then sixteen. Okay. Uh seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yours first. Doomed one. Oh yeah, that's me too. Surge when revealed. Each enemy not in the stage area and engage with a player makes an attack. Okay, that does nothing. Good. Surge. More yet work when revealed. Either remove one damage from Doom 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 or reveal an additional encounter card. Uh, additional counter card, I guess. Mine's a Moria. Okay. So while it's in the stage area, it eats up all the stuff. Now it's your, like... I know. What a joke, man. Now it's yours. Ancient guard room. So if we can get this travel to, oh, all these enemies hit for one less. This is going to be helpful. That's kind of big, this but we helpful. need to possibly raise our threat by tra to travel here, so that could be risky. All right, so now in the stage area, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We're at 4. So that'll all go on Mines Moria. Oh, I get rid of it. Okay, still good. Travel. Travel. I feel like we travel to, yeah. Okay, to travel here, discard the top card of the encounter deck. Oh, that no. That sucks. That sucks? We he don't have no to raise threat. our threat, but yeah, it he sucks. has no threat, but our friend, our friend saved us in a different way today. Yeah. Our friend saved us in a different way today. He just blocked our threat going up. Okay. I mean, that would have been a good shadow card to also get for yeah, the attack, whatever. but that's okay. Okay, so we're good then. Okay. So then at the end of the quest phase... Oh, sorry, I, this should have been done already, but then at the quest phase, we would lower that. Okay. Optional engagement. You are first. The attack for one less. Uh... uh I can do this guy. You can kill six, like do six damage. Uh, one, two, three, okay. four, I'll five, six, one. seven, eight. Yep, yeah. yeah, I can. Okay. Okay, I'll optionally engage this guy. Sam will ready. Archery Draw happens, a card. though. Okay. Yep. Not yet though, right? Not start of combat. Oh, start of combat. Okay. So two damage needs to go on. I can put one here. Okay, and I can put one here, and that still hasn't done either. Okay. Of those. Okay. Uh, uh, I'll defend. For two. Attack enemy makes plus one attack. If it destroys a character, attack enemy makes additional attack. Come on, man. It sucks. I shouldn't have took that one damage on him. It screwed me. Uh, no cancel. Also, he attacks again? Yep. So I'm not going to be able to kill him. Unless I just let it go undefended, but then. Oh, character died. Yep. After a character is destroyed or unattached, attached to a hero. After a character you control is destroyed, exhaust attached to hero until the end of the round. Attached to hero cannot ready. Can we put both on the same one potentially? Yeah, but the problem is this will make him uh, exhaust, so then he would also take a damage. So it's like they oh, made it they, so. Oh, yeah, they, you don't want to put them together. Yeah, because like. 
on a turn where a character doesn't get destroyed, he's readied. Yeah. So I can't use him, but then once a character is destroyed, he goes down and takes the damage, so like I'll lose the hero. Which is fine-ish. I can take the exhaust one. Uh, After a character is destroyed, exhaust him? Yeah, this is the one we're taking right now. After a character is destroyed... Because we had vice versa, but maybe... Attach it to a hero. Forced. After a character you control is destroyed, exhaust attached hero. Oh. Until the end of the round, attached hero cannot ready. Yeah. You want to try it that way? I mean, I can. The other one is... Um, what was this one? After your... After but the, but if, you're, if it's, you're putting on someone who quests all the time, that's what I did. No, I just put on him, and he just does whatever I need him to do. He's just kind of there. I'm really, I just like him for the um, draw card. Okay. I don't know. You can do it if you oh, want. Oh, this one is after he exhausts draw, uh, deal. I know. That's what I'm saying. Wound. I just don't know which one is better to... And put that on him. Do it. We'll try it different. I don't okay. know. I'll put maybe that I on can get rid of. Maybe I can get rid of it. Yeah, you just need Elrond to come out and knock him out. How much damage can he take? Oh, he could do it still a couple times and then... Yeah, but he's going to take one to get that one. Yeah, I know. Okay. Okay. And then you're you might take in. two right now. I'm, I'm going to say no defenders. You could use this, no? No, he's exhausted. Oh, you have to exhaust him? Yeah, he has to exhaust the defendant attack for that to fire oh, off. Oh, okay. No defenders. Nothing. Two damage, goes here, he gets this. Alright, uh, Sam is going to defend for one, two, three, four, five. Assign X damage among characters you control. X is the number of enemies engaged with you. One. 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 Then he defends it fully. Okay, I'll attack with Gandalf for four. He only blocks one, kills him. So add a resource token here. Okay, I'll attack for three, four, five, six, seven. He's dead. He says someone can ready. <laughs> okay, end of round. Ready up. Rec goes up. I don't 26. Think. Did you have a character destroyed or no? No. Yeah, I just remember that. Okay, 37. Ooh. Ooh. 26. If I said 36, I meant 26. Oh. Okay, Four. pass. Did I pass this to you? Not yet. Okay, draw. Oh, my stone, meaning I don't... Oh, good, because I have two four-costers. Yeah, All right, I'm first. Nice. Let's do this for Rob. Let's place a... Stone here. Draws the steward. Okay, full here. And he'll come into play with the stone. Okay, done. Uh, I'll just play Santa Fight. What, you have any allies in your discard? No, right? No, Choose an ally that printed cost X in a player's discard pile. Uh, I'll just pay for it with Gandalf for four. I will in a second, though. <laughs> and then this goes here. Uh, oh, I forgot to play this when a character died. Uh oh. Rewind. Yeah. I forgot. I have Valiant Sacrifice in hand when that Northern Tracker died. Yeah. I should have spent one from this guy. Also did. Which would have drew me two cards, which one was the Test of Will on the top. Then would be the card I stand and fight. Those would be the two draw from that. Then end of phase draw, Wizard Pipe. Or even two. And then, sorry, that would have went away when he died. Oh, yes, 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 yes. You did add the actual one from any heroes you had in there? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then... Uh, Can I kill this troll? 
So he would have five. Hmm. Dwarven Tomb can get me back. Cancel. Okay. Oh, I can't play this from hand. I'd have to switch it. So yeah, let's do... Let's just switch. Wizard pipe. Switch. Lay. I'll use Gandalf's resources. Northern tracker. Steward of Gondor. You hunk of junk. And only allies another northern tracker. Uh, yep. Yep, I'll just wait. All right, go ahead. Or you did all yours. I did mine already. Questing, right? Yeah. I think I'm just going to do six. I just need to count out. This is four, five. Do this one too. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. That's what I need. I okay. Know, okay. Sometimes you just have to eight, risk it though with the no defenders. Eight. Yeah, I did eight. Sometimes that's what you need to do to get ahead when you're like falling behind. You just gotta like hope for the best because you're gonna lose anyway. Uh, I'm putting in six, seven, eight, nine. Oops, I put eighty. Your card. Yep. The Orc Chieftain. Styles me crazy. Allies cannot defend against Orc Chieftain. At the beginning of the encounter phase, Orc Chieftain engages the first player. Which right now is you. That's fine. My card. Doomed one. 38. When revealed, remove one damage from Doom Doom Doom. It's going to six. Unless I cancel it. Uh, it's up to you. Another cancelable one? Yep, I'll cancel it. So it seems Put good. It back, right? I did, yeah. It was going to go to six, but now it's at seven. Okay. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're up six. Okay, three goes here, three goes here. Okay. Oh, sorry, one less, because this makes it uh, one more. Oh, okay. Sorry, so this is four. Oh, I could pitch two. Here, let me pitch a wizard pipe. Add one more. Okay. Okay, and then when the stone triggers, I'm going to put in Aramir with the stone. Nice. Yeah. Nice. These bodies Gravel. can stay. Yeah. Oh, end of quest phase? Yep. Do we travel here, pull more enemies out? One has to be this guy who's already in yeah, now, so right? Yeah, so it doesn't make us pull him back after we just got rid of him. Each player searches the encounter can discover out for a different enemy and adds it to the staging area. Travel here. One of those must be the Orc Chieftain if able. Well, we're not able, so we still do two other enemies, though. Should we do this to get this out of there? Are you able to take one like of those little weenie guys? I can defend and then fight back like one. Like one that you took? Yeah, okay. yeah, same okay. as last time. Okay. Okay. Yeah, look in there first, I think. How many resources do we have on here? Where do they go? Oh. Did, was that too your resource token? That's actually yeah, explored? So sorry. it wasn't real? Yeah. So it should only be three progress? And this is resources? We have two yes. defeated enemies? Okay. That's okay. Yeah, so that's a lot different. Okay. 
Yeah, because I only killed one and you killed one. That's the first round we started it. Sorry, yeah. And no, no progress got through, so that was my bad putting the wrong color dice. Oh, so we can't even travel that fast. Does that make a difference? Can't even travel that fast. I was thinking that this was at five and we were close to like completing this. But we have to get through this before and we, you can't even advance. I know, but we, we need to, to kill enough there. enemies. Okay, no, it's fine. Yeah, there's a lot of things we gotta do still. Yeah. But we've gotta hurry. Hurry! I know. This is going down. I know. So in here, we have an archer, we have the orc. This is just the deck. I'm just thinking, like, do we pull enemies out of here? There's this guy, the Uruk from Mordor. Uruk. Uruk. Hello, sir. When revealed, Uruk from Mordor makes an attack against the first player. But it won't be revealed, right? Uh, what does it say? Adds it to the stage area. It won't. Okay. So are we okay getting a four-attack dude that needs seven to be killed? Yeah, I guess. <coughs> Better than an archer, but... Yeah. But if we take an archer... Hold on, that's the deck. The discard pile. Same, got, same three choices in there. Yeah, because we can't hope the archer comes out as a shadow card. Or is taking them out of the deck bad because we need them in the deck to get them so that we can have enough to kill here? Well, we're taking two, so as long as we kill the two we have and the two we take, we'll be... Well, we might not kill this guy. Yeah, next round. I can okay. only kill one a turn. So I'm taking him out of the deck. So definitely one of these guys. I can kill him. Yeah, let's leave the archer in there. So then you want this big dude? Yeah. But he's, I can... he's only two in the staging area. Yeah, and the problem is I can only take one because I can't... Oh, what's their threat right now? Plus four. So he's 38. He's coming to me. Okay. Because I'm, I'm at that Oh, you can problem. change that if you don't want to take him then. Uh, it has to be different enemies. It has to be the archer. But then that means damage right now, and damage at the start of combat, and that means guys start getting shredded. Mm. So I'm going to say no. This guy attacks for four, could kill this guy. This guy, I don't have to take yet then. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I can take one of them, whoever... Oh, and this guy's 36, but plus four is 40, so I don't take him yet. But these guys soon, I'm going to have I'm going to take one of them. I'm going to take enemy after enemy, because I haven't seen my... Uh, Threat reduction. Yeah, I'm going to take one of them now, and okay. then I'll be able to take one of them next turn. And hopefully we get the archers right now. As a shadow card. As a shadow card is what I'm hoping. That'd be but. ideal. There's only one of them in there, right? Yep, another one's in the discard, coming around. Okay. So, optionally engage. Which one's coming to you? Oh, I could change that if I take the one that's coming to you. Like if I it's take this only one, this guy coming to me. Yeah, so let's just say I take this one. And now you optionally take whoever you want. Yeah, this guy. That's better, right? Uh, sure. Okay. Okay. Oh, see, I'm ready. He's gonna draw a card. Oh, another bill. If I lose him, nice. Okay. So he's attacking for four. Sam is gonna defend for one, two, three, four, five. Uh, if this attack destroys a character, reveal an a counter card. It does not. I'll defend with the Northern Tracker for two. Look at that juicy <gasps> shadow card. Yes. I like that shadow card. Yes. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Good uh, shuffle. So three, one damage. It's this guy. And then go ahead and okay. attack. Attack back. Mary attacks for four. Oh, yeah. We forgot about this guy's ability. Oh, oh, that's fine. Does he come to uh, me? What is it again? At the beginning of the encounter phase, he engages the first player, which oh, is you. Oh, okay. So you would have this guy engage with you. Which would have triggered Sam. Uh, right when that happened. Okay, okay. So then Sam could have defended that attack first, and then he would ready when I engage this one, right? Is that how that one works? So in the encounter phase, at the start, he engages you. Before yeah. Before you do optional engage okay, and all that. Okay, so then Sam is going to just defend this one, would too. Would you extra cards or yeah, something? Yeah, one more. Like, one I, more. I don't know what your cards oh, will nice. do exactly. Okay, and then Ultimately, he would have... No, it's good. We need that stuff. He'd Thank have one more. That. So he's one, two, three, four, five, six. He's defending for six. Discard a non-objective attachment. You control two non-objective attachments instead of your threat is five or higher. It is not. Oh, we're getting rid of a cloak, I guess. Actually, maybe I get rid of this. This is defending for two, and this is only defending for one. Yeah. Oh, it's permanent. I don't think I can do that. No, unless the guy leaves. 
All right. Has well, to be cloak. Has to be the cloak. Okay, but we're successful on that. Okay. Okay, your attacks. So my attacks. This guy needs six, seven, eight, nine. That guy needs seven. So Mary attacks for four. Five, six, seven. Then he can ready. And then I can attack oh, yeah, him. Allies can't defend against him. So you need to like keep doing a hero over and over again. But I'm going to kill him first. Oh, okay, okay. So I, I was going to say get rid of him fast. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so this guy's dead. Six, seven, eight, nine. Then Mary's ability lets him stand. Putting a resource token here. Yep. And then I attack for three, four, five. Oh, just shy a little bit. So three. I have a quick strike in my hand that I can do next turn before this guy can do anything. Another resource token. And get rid of him. Two more enemies. And some more progress. And those guys would have been exhausted. Rick goes up. 39. He gets ready because I didn't lose a character yet. Draw. Uh, Oop. Threat. Uh, this is going to go to four. Oh. oh, look. I just discarded that other, uh, other one and I get this. Okay. Some resources for my friends. Would you get Elrond to get rid of some stupid attachments? No, I do have him though, too, but I got the plus one defense and one hit point. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to switch. Stand and fight with this. I'm going to spend four from here. Play stand and fight. An ally. Oh, what's wrong? If I save stand and fight, I can actually use it to get uh, Elrond back into play on my turn. Yeah, because I'll play him this turn. I have the resources to do so. Yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe I save that for the trickery. Uh, so let's not switch. I need Mary to have a blade. He does not hit hard enough right now, even to kill this guy with a quick strike. That's frustrating. Yeah. This guy, nope. I'm done. I got nothing. Sucks. I need okay. card draw again. This is my problem. Without getting all staff, like I'm I'm always like locked. Okay. I will spend three for Elrond. Should we get rid of the attachment? We'll allow him to start doing yeah. things again. Cause then when you play him, then you can get rid of this attachment, right? So this just goes to here, I think. Yeah, that's uh where does this go? What does it say on him? Discard? Discard. Yeah, I'm assuming it just goes in the discard pile. What happens when it comes out again? It goes back in here. Does it though? Yeah, from other other uh, campaigns that had these. It doesn't. It just says it on setup to do it. Yeah, I guess it does, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to spend one to put uh, plus one defense and plus one hit point on Sam. So he's not defending for as much, but still good. Still good. Quick Strike's not going to do anything right now. And I have a twin of Bill the Pony when he dies. Okay, good to go. Questing. I have Faramir too that we can use oh, for yeah. questing. Okay, questing. Uh, who needs a resource? Anyone? Anyone? Uh, no, I don't. I don't know what I have yet. Whoever is going to pay for him, do you need... Yeah, just blue resource right now, still good. He is good for attacking. Save him for defending. Uh, we're trying to do a big one. Yeah, let's just keep doing it. Uh, yeah. One. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen. Just give me one second. Fifteen. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Because I have to get rid of this guy and possibly this guy. So he attacks for three, four, five, six. Oh, this guy, we only need how much? Four. Need four. 
Did I put one of my cards in here again? <laughs> Three. Or I put one of these cards in my four. discard pile, probably. Or was it from before when I missed it? Then ready him. Yeah, I do that all the time. And then he needs ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I'm going to stop at 15, and we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, that guy does, so he can defend that one. Okay, okay. Two, four. That guy is going to have a two. Okay, go ahead. My card. Oh no, I'm getting eaten alive by these damn mosquitoes. Surge, when revealed, the first player deals X damage. Divide among heroes they control X the number of players in the game. Two damage among heroes, you say. <laughs> I don't know if this is the cancel. Now, if you're no. going to play him out of my discard pile... I'm not healing with him. He's getting rid of your attachment. Oh, okay. But you can use guys. I am using guys. I'm just going to no put one has two died on it when... I think they will this time. Surge. Mini Pillar to Hall. Okay. Your card. Darkened Stairway. Okay. No, oh, I don't like this one, but okay. Alrighty. So we know there's no enemies left in the deck. Yeah. That's the problem. Oh, but we have our two enemies eight. here. Yeah. But this one. Ooh. I know. Ooh. I know. Eight. Excuse me. Uh, do I want to put him in? Does that matter? Eight. Uh, so what do we need here? We need six and four. We need ten more. Yeah, right now. Right now we're up seven. And then as soon as we get the enemies done, we're in the next one. We don't have to wait. Like if we can have enough sitting here, then, then we're good. But he does remove stuff from there, remember? So if he ends up crushing one of your dudes, any extra damage removes from the current quest, so we might want to put extra there just to deal with this guy's crap. But can I, hold on, can I defeat him if I do three? That defeats this one. He's defending. He readies. One, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I need him to defend, to defeat it. So what are we at now? 15? Sorry, plus seven. We're up seven. Up so, seven, so yes. clear that I only put three there, so we're not ready to go yet. No, so we definitely I go could... through another round. Unless I... I pitch a car that's not enough, you pitch a car that's not enough. But it does get rid of two of our enemies. Okay, yeah, whatever you yeah, want to so do. I, I don't know. Them. I'll pitch Unless this. you can take... You can't fight Actually, this guy, right? hold this. Yeah, I'm gonna hold this. It's because yeah. of this guy not dying. Uh, this guy, the problem is he's 10, like, Gand yeah. he blocks Gandalf, and I have no one else to attack. No, I can kill them both with what I have. He's gonna defend and die on this one. That'll... It will remove from there, but... Only next. if it's extra over top of his health. If he block, if he only hits for six and doesn't get bonuses, True. he blocks. He blocks everything. everything. He okay. eats it all. Okay. okay. Uh, so we'll move one from here. Oh, sorry, we're still in it. So yeah, this is gone. You said seven. We're up. Yeah. All and right. And three goes here. This is victory. So that doesn't go back six. in the deck. Uh, travel. Uh, yeah, that's the problem. I mean, maybe this one. Okay. Could have another location in the staging area, but it gets four out of the staging area. I don't remember seeing many locations in there when you were quickly. Well, all, no enemies are left through. in here. Oh, yeah. And we're going to only take two cards, so. Okay. Well, we're going to get two shadow cards, too. So, okay, then this goes down. Okay. Uh, optionally engage. Would you like to? No. I'll optionally engage this guy. We'll ready him. Draw a card. Oh, now I wish I knew that was there. Uh, okay. Okay. Mm, let's have Sam. We'll defend here for one, two, three, four. Four on four. Perfect. Oh, yeah. See ya. Okay. Then here, Elron will defend for three. Uh, attacking him, it's plus one. Okay, so that's no. fine. So just, we lose one from no. here. Is your threat 35 or higher? No. Okay. 28. And a many-pillared hallway. Okay. He's dead. Yep. 
Uh, after a character is destroyed, overcome by grief is attached to a hero, counts as in a, after a it character you control him. is destroyed, exhaust, okay. And he doesn't get to ready at the end of the oh, round. Oh, so then I can't now kill him. Ooh, that's no good. You still have to kill this guy, I think. No, I... Because he's the one who could keep making it so we never, ever progress. Okay, I think I can maybe do it a different... Can you have a quick strike or something? Yeah, but he's only three and I can't get... He's... I need but four But you could here. have prevented that guy from attacking. You could defend it with... Oh, but... But I can't kill him. I need oh. four. And oh, he's only three because I, I don't have Frodo. I see, yes. And I haven't found a blade yet. But I think... I think I can do something... Oh, no, I can't. What can so I do Should have had Faramir less. This one. Well, I didn't know yeah, that, no. that yeah, was Shadow cards. Happen. I know I have no cancel for shadows. That's the problem. I or I away. should have maybe defended the other way, but... Yeah, whatever. Okay, so then let's do... You kill the troll? Yeah. Ten? Yeah. Four. I mean, sorry, three. Six. Seven, eight. Nine. Ten. Unless you want to keep the troll out. For not cycling. He just hits harder. And I, and I know, it, and he removes yeah. stuff, but he could get shuffled and come right back out. That's no, I think I'm good, actually, because now Mary says he can ready, and these guys hit for four, which is what this guy needs. Okay. I don't know what You're I was... just bad at math? Oh, okay. Cool. Well, that's two more progress here. So we're officially at six, so we would have actually progressed if we had enough there. But we don't. We're four shy still. And I forget what happens when we progress on the next one. Obviously the ball grab happens, the bridge comes into play, and I forget if it makes us put enemies in this play. It, it lowers this by one oh, yeah. or something as We reveal well. encounter cards, I think, I think yeah, on that one. We reveal like two, two encounter cards. Okay. Okay. So now we're like rush, rush now. Ready up. Uh, raise my threat, 29. You don't ready up your dude. Oh yeah, thank you. I even said it to myself okay. on purpose. Uh, threat goes up, I'm at 40. Okay, another body. Pass first player, draw. Galadriel, where the F have you been? All right. Uh, you, you have you been? Okay, that's gonna like that. That's gonna put four, six. Well, I've been saving up for her visit. Yeah, you need bodies for because when I know I need bodies. He comes that's, out for I've first been, player. I'm waiting. Like, I, know. I have no draw, so I know. it's like all my attachments and stuff come up that I don't even. This need. This could let you draw. If you don't worry about this. Oh, man. I think it's fine. I'm going to play an ally for one. And I'm done. Wish I could pass him on your side. Okay. So. Yeah, let's do Gandalf will pay for this. Gladriel, she's going to come into play. After you play her from your deck, search the top five cards for an attachment. Oh! oh. Oh. Okay, three attachments to choose from. That never happens. That's I funny. can give us all a ton of willpower. But once someone's gone. Yeah, once a ball rock comes out, smashes somebody, it's gone. Oh well. I just have a lot of guys on thin ice here. Oh well. Gandalf could get two more attack. Although he's killed a couple orcs already. Of course, it shows up after that. But I'm sure Plus could, two attack is still good. Yeah, that could have been a card draw engine right there. Man. Yeah. Or the staff. Exhausted, choose one. Player draws a card, add a resource. No, I think I need the attack at this point. Yeah. But I can put these back on the top of the deck so I can like get whatever. So I'll put this on Gandalf. Just increasing the awesomeness of Gandalf. <laughs> Can he touch the top of He only has one restricted card, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Look at him standing tall on his many stilts. Yeah, yeah, see how, how we can get him. Okay, so I can put these back in any order. I have his attack card too. The one where I discard the top card, but they're all going to be like junky Unless ones. Switch them. Yeah, but I could switch, but these are all cheap too. Oh, yeah. Oh. But even so, he's attacking right now for three, four, five, six, right? Yeah, he's attacking for six by himself. Three, four, five, six, yep. Which is great. Uh, okay. Shadow cancel. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, we know there's no enemies coming. I know, 
But it can't, it's still when they eventually do come. Yeah, so I always say put it lower. Okay, in yeah, I guess. Attack, then I'll put lower because I don't want to fight the Balrog. And then you want to rush by the Balrog. That'll give us one turn of a bunch of free willpower. Mm -hmm. So we'll do the staff on top. And I could put it in my hand and play it. Yeah, let's switcheroo. It's good too, we only have one threat in here. Switcheroo. That doesn't, doesn't matter what I put there. Okay, so for two from my hand, I'll pay for it here. And then I'll use it to draw. Okay, and then... Yeah, I'm going to play Stand Fight for three. Mm -hmm. Choose an ally with printed cost X and any player's discard pile. I'll choose Elrond. He'll come into play. Yeah, feel free to heal when your characters are draw. Like, I'm not worried about this I'm attachment. I'm not worried about heal right now, I think. I think we just need to go, go, go. Yeah. This is like, maybe I should do them on the play when we're actually at the Balrog to race past, you know? Oh, because of the three threat? Well, because they or both have like six willpower on the turn and yeah. then they're gone. Maybe yeah. I'm doing this too early. Yeah, because you know there's no enemies coming out. I think we, there's only two threat in here right now. Yeah, I'll leave them. I, I think I'm holding it. I'll, I'll do it like more timed, I think. Because you can pick, right? It doesn't have to be the top ally? No, it's any ally. Okay. Yeah, I'll wait and I'll try to do it for the big push past the Balrog. Okay. Um, I think, yeah. Good though. Mm. Northern Tracker. No, I think I'll leave him in. I'm just gonna spend one uh, to get Test of Will back using Dwarven Tomb. Yep. That's the one where you'll cancel, right? Yep. Yeah, that's a good idea. I have two in hand. Right. Okay. Blessing? Yep. I'm going to just put him upside down, actually, so I know that he's not in the quest, because he's going to confuse me. All right. Three. Four, five. Six. Seven. Seven. And I have fair mirror. Do you need money for some big guy in your hand or something? No. Okay. He's free and I have enough for these two. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Is that overkill? We're at, we're at twenty. That might be overkill. I mean, because the Balrog comes out like right away and makes an attack like right away. Uh, I don't think he does because I think we'll be fine. Oh, that was because we were so low on yeah, that. Because oh. it removes one. And then it'll, so oh, we'll it remove automatic. two. It wasn't automatic. No, we okay. have like another round at least. Okay, okay, okay. All right. It may search for enemies, but. Yeah, I think it's just we draw cards and counter like cards. That, yeah. All right. Uh, mm, you? Yep, miss me. The Mines of Moria. Okay. So remember, stuff goes there. My card is. Fear of Discovery Surge. When revealed, the first player must either exhaust the ring bearer or reveal an additional counter card. No, I cannot. I'm going to cancel this one, actually. Okay, I was say, I cannot do that. I'm going to try to keep us tame right now. 
Okay, surging into this. Oh no, main okay. player hall, that it's sucks. Okay. No, it's good. It's there now. Uh, so that's three and three. Yeah, so six, seven, eight. So we have eight in there. We're up 12. So four of it goes here. Okay, so we can still Oh, wait, actually, sorry. Two goes here. Okay. First. So that's 10. Okay, after this is explored, discard the top card of the counter back of its location onto the staging area. Not a location. Ooh. Well, that's a good one to discard. Yeah. When revealed, each player assigns X damage one character to control, X is the number of exhausted characters to control. I forgot this was in here. Same. These are cancels. I should not be canceling what I've been canceling. <laughs> I've been getting so lucky. <laughs> I am canceling not correctly. That is for sure. I forgot about those cards. So then four goes here. Uh, four goes here. So we're down to six left. And then six would go here, which would clear that. Boom. And we have enough progress or uh, resources. When revealed, add the set aside Great Bridge to the staging area. Great Bridge, five threat. Five to progress it. Underground bridge, immune player card effects. When the great bridge is, bridge is explored, discard a hero from play, deal X damage to the Balrog. X is at hero's threat cost, and the Balrog loses indestructible for remainder of the game. Any player may trigger this ability, don't care. But we do need to get rid of this, I think, to beat the stage. Okay. If I'm correct. Oh, wait, there was more. There was more. Um, each player reveals one encounter card and removes one damage from Doom Doom Doom. We're in the quest phase still, so we have to oh. shuffle, right? And we remove one from Doom Doom Doom, right? So each, we're at each? Each player does this. Okay, so four and then three. And then hopefully don't draw that card that makes us remove more of them. I'll remove them from the quest at this point. Or isn't that one? No, I think it's like the Balrog makes an attack. Or oh, one. yeah. Because we're going to remove one more at the end of this quest phase. Hopefully we just draw our elf friend. That would be nice. Yeah. Because he needs to show up for us to win. It's like a sign. <laughs> what, why? We Someone only win when Calling we... elf friends. Calling elf friends. Please send help. Damn. Cell, Have no we won no cell it? reception in the Mines of Moria. Damn it. Damn it. So why is... Oh, yeah. He's not there yet. Oh, sorry. It said Adam. Didn't it? Oh no, what are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm cheating. Yeah, where are my cards I was reading? I don't know. Did you shuffle it in there? No, nope, right here. Oh. oh, the Great Bridge is oh. the staging area. This player reveals one encounter card and removes one damage from Doom Doom Doom. Yeah, Doom Doom Doom's the one that adds him to play. Oh. It's like at the end of the phase, if there's none on there, then oh. he comes in. Which my we're bad. still we're still in quest. Which is what would have been awesome to put enough progress on the previous stage so we're overloaded so when we kill the final enemy we progress not in the quest phase i know i know i'm sorry that's why i was saying we sh should have used fairmere that turn to like just go crazy you're right and pitch cards and we just go nuts you are right we okay, have shuffled a bunch you're gonna cut put those archers way at the bottom no whatever we don't want to see them again Okay, then reveal two cards. I said cut, man. Let's go. Oh, sorry. I just shuffle for 10 minutes. Doomed one. Okay. 30. Yeah, this is the card I was talking about. 41. Oh, you have a cancel, though, no? Do I cancel this, though? Yeah, probably, right? Yeah. Okay, so test the will. It's a whole turn. Okay. There's the deck. You can reveal the second one. Okay. Archer. Oh, Serenity now. So this was... Yours is the first card. This is my card. We already went past that. These are just the... Oh, I see. It's each player. Yep. Yeah. I see. Sorry. Yeah. So assign X damage on characters that control X number of players in the game. I'll assign two on uh, this one who shows up late and leaves whenever she wants. <laughs> At least I can take him and kill him. All right. No more than five. Oh, I forgot about this part of it. Oh. No more than five. Pro I'm thinking of like rushing in all one turn, but yeah, I keep forgetting. So it's three turns at least. No more than five progress can be placed on this stage each round. Players cannot defeat the stage while the Great Bridge is in play. Okay. When this stage defeated, players win the game. So we gotta get three rounds. Hopefully the okay. Balrog doesn't show up for most of them. Okay, so now at the end of the quest phase, we'll do that. Yeah, that sucks. Travel. Do we just travel here then? To try to get rid of that sooner than later? Yes. This is six, but maybe we can outquest it. Okay. I can take that guy. Uh, see, I'm a little ready and I get to draw a card. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. start of the thing, we have to put two more damage out. Yeah, I can put one. I can put one here, like she's gonna leave play anyway, right? Yeah. Okay, and I can put one here because uh, I have a second, I can bring in a fresh pony. 
Okay. Sam will defend for one, two, three, four. Nothing. Okay, and then I can attack for four, five, six. Dead. He gets it ready. Okay. That's that. Brett, 42. 31. Draw. Hasty stroke. Three. Five. No, I put him upside down so I remember if I'm readying him or not. My own. My own craziness. He doesn't ready because I lost the pony. Okay, so the ring bear has attachment. Okay, so all heroes okay. have plus one. But after a character destroyed, it's gone. But that'll hopefully help us plow through this first one because we need at least ten there. And we have six here already too. To, to clear it, yeah. yeah. No. Okay. okay. Um. And now. I think I stay in a fight now. Yeah, don't do Elrond. Unless you need your guy. Which guy? This guy. No. Mm -hmm. so just get another northern tracker. It's so helpful, you, right, for these? Yeah, but the Balrog will just rip him apart when he shows up soon. But yes, it would help. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's good bodies, so too. Yeah, or, I'll it, just play, or I'll switch this with Stand and Fight using the pipe. Uh, this one. Okay, and then out of my discard pile, I'll play this for four. Put him in instead of the other guy. Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that was coming. Okay. I think I'll use... Oh, I could discard a shadow card with this. I'm going to use the play of a neutral. I need draw. No, I'll leave it. Okay, done. Okay. Comes in for free because I have Sam, and then I'll spend one for this guy's twin brother. Okay. Westing. Hold on, I have a question for you. Would you want me to look at... Oh, we can only look at the top one. Never mind. No, I was going to yeah. look at the top two. No, can't do anything with it, so I don't know if it's helpful. Well, it just lets you know, like, what is coming, but I don't know in this scenario if it matters that much. I don't think so. Yeah, no. It's fine. I'll just use something to quest. Um... Mm. Oh, it is. He's unique. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, Jeremy sorry. Cheaterson. He's unique. I didn't even realize. I just... Thank you. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> I guess that makes sense, right? That he's his twin brother and he's unique. Okay. Uh, so I put in two, three, four... Plus another 7, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14, okay. 14, 17, 18. Nineteen. Nineteen, and we have Jeremy if we need. My card. Doomed to, oh no. What are you at? 44. 33. 
Oh when reveal a shuffle encounter, discard pile into the encounter deck and discard cards from the top until X enemies are discarded. X the number of players in the game, add those enemies to the staging area. Well, that's rough. I have no cancel for this one. Okay. So we're loose. But don't shuffle that one in. Oh, yeah, that's right. So I could get a couple nasty enemies right here. Could see that cave guy come back in the cave troll. Could see the guy that keeps engaging the first player. Could see some archers. I'm good for... Yeah, there's way too many dirty cards. One big cards. guy, but... Yeah, like I was saying, there's way too many dirty cards in this to cancel and like just punishing, like very bad. Like I saw, I play four cancels and we're still getting like wrecked by this stuff. Okay. Discarding from the top until X enemies, and we are adding them to the stage area. So no win revealed shenanigans. Moria orc, great. Moria orc, great. It doesn't say different, right? Uh, yep, not different. Okay. Oh, that's actually that's great. actually not bad. That worked out okay. Well, one more card for me though. Uh, that was just me, right? Yeah. Now it's you. Yeah. Fear of Discovery Surge. When revealed, the first player must either exhaust a ring bear or reveal an additional counter card. Well, well, I can't okay, exhaust, yeah. so two more cards, right? Surge off this one. Mm -hmm. uh, Archer. So when revealed, assign X damage among characters you control. Uh, yep. And then the other card. Well, I guess you do that first. And one. Find the one. Peril, when revealed, remove a character you control from the quest. Discard the top card of the counter deck. If that character is printed, uh, willpower is less than the threat. Get rid of him. So who? Who is in the quest? Removing the pony? Yep. He's one? Yep. It's a zero. You're good. He yes. stays in play. Yes. The right. pony lives. Now we have uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're up five. That's it? Okay. So, no, I'll put Faramir in. Oh, okay. So we're up What's five. Give us? I had, what is it, characters? Yep. Yep, each character. One, two, three, four, five more. So you get them. So then we're up ten, so which is the five wanted. and the five. Yep. Okay. Response, when it's explored, discard a hero from play to deal X damage to the Balrog. He ain't even here. He didn't even show up yet. <laughs> then the Balrog loses an indestructible keyword for mater of the game. Any player may trigger this. Don't care. Okay. Victory five. Okay, it's in the victory pile. So end of the quest phase. This goes to one. Okay. Oh, jeepers. Travel. I feel like we obviously travel to just one of these. Oh. Right? Uh, is that obvious? Yeah. I'm, I think it's six in here versus it's only going to be four up there. Well, it's, no, it's three in here for now. Plus another one is three. So because they work But they're in play. They, it doesn't matter where it is in play. But when I remove this mallet out of the staging area, it's just taking three out of the staging area and putting a four blocking progress. So you've actually made it worse for us. But I have my buddies here, if they're still alive, who can put two more on them while they're sitting there and then one more round and they're gone. On the turn that we're finally trying to rush out, they can exhaust, eliminate both. The only problem is the Balrog there. I might not have allies to throw in front of his automatic attacks if I'm first player. So right now I am first player. I won't be first player. Then I will be first player. Probably he'll show up next round. I just feel like this is safer. Like I feel like we can get through that one versus. Sure. Again, I don't know. Northern trackers can't put it on this though. I know. So it's now we have to work. But I feel like we'll just quest it. Oh, okay. Sure. You were saying it's better in the math, but it's it's not just to be clear, so you know, right? The only advantage is now this could go away quicker before another one shows up to buff them all up. Yeah. Then it's a better math, but that's all, all random. Okay, uh, so engagement. I didn't use Gandalf at all, so you can block and attack. Your threat is, I'm sorry, 44? 44. Okay, so those guys are only plus three. So these two. Mm -hmm. So sorry. I have to take one. This guy's a 45. That's a stupid archer guy. But if you can take him as your optional engagement. And then you can take both of those? I I'd have to. I would just let one probably go unopposed. Mm, do I lose a hero? I could just defend both with Gandalf and no, and then he doesn't attack back at all, and they're just sitting with me. 
But then next turn, I forget. Balrog, I think, only attacks first player, so it's you. Yep. Oh, this is kind of rough. No, I think... What if... Or we leave the archer there. Yeah, and, we leave the archer but there. But then he does two damage right now to somewhere. And then we have to deal with his two damage again at the start of the next round. He's in the staging area. So we can leave him there. I don't know. And we okay. each take one of these. Yeah. Let's see, I'm already... Draw a card. Ale block. Oh, uh, head. Actually, I'm going to... What's the problem? If I ha He's not enough for a quick strike on this guy. I'm just going to get rid of this guy's uh, shadow card. Yep. Which would have been attacking him. He gets plus one. If it destroys a character, he makes an additional attack. That wouldn't have happened, but I don't need him. It's plus one. Yeah. So he fully gets defended by Gandalf. Okay. And then I'm going to defend for one, two, three, four. Attacking enemy makes an additional attack after this one. Ouch. Okay. Oh, uh, hasty stroke. Oh, okay. Unless you don't care. Um, hasty stroke no, it is. I, I can defend it with him. Because he defends for three, it's attack of three. I don't okay. need him. If you don't need to cancel. Like no, I, I can. Wait. Good. Okay, so then uh, another shadow card. And then Boromir will defend for three. Uh, if this attack destroys a character, reveal an encounter card. Nope, he blocks it all. Okay. He'll attack back with Gandalf. He slices this dude up, and I get to draw a card. Oh, I forgot I had this, so I could have read it up and killed two at once. Or no, I could defend against two, ready up and kill another. I uh, still think it's okay. Oh yeah, we didn't take the two damage, which I could put... Oh yeah. You can put it on here. Both? Yeah, whatever. Okay. Okay, and then my attack is going to be three and four, five, and he's dead. And then he gets it ready. Ready up. Raise threat, 45. Did I lose a character this time? Yes, I did. Okay. Master's player. And 34. Draw. Okay. And got two. four. Four. Two. All right, now we can play him. Okay. Done. I'm gonna draw with Gandalf actually. Another hasty stroke. Mm. I'm gonna switch the card on top with Bilbo. No, I'll just play Bilbo. I'll just play Bilbo like normal for two. Uh, after you enter play, search your deck for a pipe attachment, add it to your hand, shuffle your deck. I don't know if I have any left, but I'll do it anyway. No, I don't. Okay, whatever. Shuffle up, it's fine. You <laughs> <laughs> sacrificed. I mean, this twin's probably going to get sacrificed to the Balrog as well, so... Ooh, hello. That was a good shuffle. Alright. I'll pay two... I'll pay two... <laughs> He's almost reached the top! <laughs> Yes, he will join his brother soon, exactly. Oh yeah, I didn't use this, I don't think. Oh no, I did, I did. I think. No, I didn't. I didn't use that. Yeah, I'll do the wizard pipe to switch. I think. No, no I won't. Yeah, no, I won't. I'll leave that there. Discard it. All right. Done. Okay. So, so the Balrog's going to come out 
after this one. Maybe yeah, and then make an attack right away. So he's going to make two attacks on me. Okay. Okay. That's fine. And he hits for eight. So he's going to start shredding through two your dudes. Attacks. And then Sam will take that guy probably. And we'll just worry about that guy. Okay. So we're going to quest for three. Now we need to get at least nine progress yeah. in. Unfortunately. Four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. And ready him. But I should probably. These are my Balrog defenders. This guy can go in. And that needs six, four, five, six. I'll take care of this guy, but I don't know what other enemies will come out. We'll okay. see. Okay, three, four, five, six, seven for me. Did a character get destroyed? They did, right? Uh oh yes, they did. This this guy. This copy. But I didn't even count that anyway, so I'm still at seven. Hmm. Do you guys need resources? No. I don't know where to put them in. I'm debating keeping them back for the extra two attack. We're only at what? Seven? Yeah. But Let's I have add another six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. And eleven. Okay, we're at eighteen and a half hair mirror that we can. Oh yeah, forgot about him. Maybe that's what we're committing. Uh this is your card. Yeah. Oh no, it's Ooh. makes an attack against the first player. Alright, but he's not engaging me, right? He's just doing nope. it from there. Uh, so we're going to put this guy in front of it. Shadow, discard a non-objective attachment control 2 and center if your threat's 35 or higher. No, it's 34. Okay, this guy's dead. Uh, it has to be this one. It's the only one I got. Do you want to get rid of that? I don't, because it gives him an extra defense. I have, like, one cancel, but, it, like, if we get a double attack card that I could cancel... Could all fall apart. It's, what does it do? Two. It gives him plus one defense and hit point. Uh, I don't know. You like? You think it's worth it? You've seen in the shadow cards what they do, right? Yeah. Raising threat plus extra attack. Attack twice. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I sure. I'll okay. do it because you want one extra defense point. Mark my words. All right. Okay. Yeah. That was. This is mine. Yeah. Oh no. When revealed, each player assigns X damage, one character to control, X the number of exhausted characters they control. I'll fall apart right here. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have to assign five damage. One, two, three, four, five. I also have to assign five damage. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Two. And three is five. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is still three, four, five, 
six, seven. So we're up eleven. So we're up eleven. So four goes here. Yeah. And then five goes there. Five goes here. One more round of five quests when we get there. Travel? Do we want to travel here? Uh, or you think? Or, or I'll clear it automatically okay, yeah, if these guys don't die. It auto goes away. Okay. So then let's leave it. Uh, and oh, sorry. End of quest phase. This goes. <gasps> at the end of the quest phase, remove one damage from Doom Doom Doom. If there's no damage here, as the Sessai Balrog. Boom. At the end of the quest phase, if the Balrog is in play, it makes an attack. Okay, it's attacking you for eight with a shadow card. I can't cancel his shadow That's card. That's okay. Just on this guy. Oh, oh it's our buddy. Come no, on now. Elf friend. Uh, uh. So this I'm just going to get rid of because I don't care anymore. Actually, we can probably just slide this over. Whatever. Okay. You just need to survive one more. Yeah. We can do this. We can do this. Uh, okay. Optional engagement. So I have Gandalf who I can use three times. If you can take... But now he took more damage, so he's at risk of defending, but... If you can take the this one, uh, I can take this one, still take the attack from our friend, the Bullrog, then we get rid of these two enemies if you can kill him. Because I think you hit for seven, right? So I can take... Uh, he is for six, only, but I can, I can ready him. Oh, I him. thought he had seven, sorry. No, I can do tricks to ready oh. another hero. By re oh, I can ready one of your allies to fight with you. I have an ally to ready, too. Okay. That's risky. Okay. I think I'm going to ready Bilbo. Oh, sorry, these ones have to go in a different order. Shadow cards. Just do whatever. Take it. This one, then mine. It's all, all random anyway. I know, but I don't know. I know. It just matters if you manipulate the top of the deck, but we haven't, so it's still random, so who cares? Uh, I'm saying for next one. Yep. Yeah. So I spent this. I ready an ally control. I'll just ready this guy. Yeah, and I'm going to spend one. To ready here, so you can defend the Bullrog. It doesn't do anything crazy. Okay, so then he will defend the Bullrog. Discard a non-objective attachment you control two instead if your threat's thirty-five or higher. And he hits for eight. Okay, he's dead. Boom! Now your guy's exhausted. He can't ready up till the end yep. of the round. No problem. Okay, then this one will be defended by Sam for three. One, two, three. Uh, raise your threat by one for each enemy engaged with you. One. Is he engaged with you? No, we had I, the same debate yeah. last time. You do whatever you want. I don't care at this point. Okay. Okay. So, uh, Bilbo will block this guy. Nothing. Okay. And then gone. Attack. He attacks for four and three, six, seven. He's dead. He readies. Okay. I want to exhaust. One hero I control to ready a different hero. And I'll ready Gandalf. And then Gandalf mm. and Theodrid will attack this guy. And Gandalf killed an orc, so I draw a card. Wandering Tuke. Done. Yeah. Done. Ready up. Raise threat. 46. 36. Draw. Oh, now you come and visit. Unexpected courage. One resource shy of putting you in for free. Or not for free, but like paying full resources for him. Oh, I can sneak attack him in. Okay. I'll just use Gandalf. One out of three. I'll put an unexpected courage on him. He's touching the top. <laughs> if you're giving out resources, I could take one for fun. Okay, I'm going to switch a card off the top with this wizard pipe. Oh, never mind, never mind. Then I'm going to spend one, play this guy, 
I'll put, I know it doesn't really matter, but maybe I can save one of these guys for defense. I'll put one progress on that location. I'm gonna play this guy for two. I don't know how many cancels anyway. And that is all. Uh, I'm not playing anything in this phase. Questing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, put Gandalf in for three. Ready him back up. Uh, I'll put one of these guys in. This is cleared. So that's four. Ten. You can leave him readied if you want. I don't know, but if we can just do this, we don't even have to see this guy do any attacks. Yeah, I'm going to make... Because we'll progress it, right? And it's done. Yeah. So all, all in, unless something... But I just worry that if it's something like... Characters all damage. Or exhaust him to stop something from happening. Okay, all right. That's I mean, good I enough. would just try. All right. Uh... I can ready an ally for you, too, if you need. I have another... Yeah. You need a resource? Not anymore. Oh, okay. Because I need to play this for one, so I was gonna. Yeah, no. Changing my plan. Mm. Three, four, five, six, twelve. Twelve on my side. Twelve. I know. Gandalf. Gandalf returned Damn. pissed off after last time, and he came with his super stilts and so now he can like look down at the balrog and say hey bro remember me okay i'm gonna do 16 but then i'm gonna spend one going four on here if i can find it and choose a hobbit character uh that character gets plus two plus two plus two willpower attack and defense till the end of the phase so i'll give it to sam so we're at 18 and that is that. My card? Yeah. Mini Pillared Hall. Oh, luckily we got rid of Only two <laughs> it's worth. Okay. So we're at seven in there. Your card is a Shadow of Fear. Doomed one. 37. 47. Surge. Win revealed until oh. the end of the round. Treat the printed text box of each character in play as blank except for traits. Okay. What does that matter for right now? I don't you think... can't block an attack. Oh, Faramir can't, can't go in. We can't cards for her. Faramir can't do jack. But I think it's. I think we still have enough. Okay, we're surging. Oh, right, we're I'm surging. Leaving this in play just so we remember it. Oh no. When revealed, each player assigns X damage to one character to control. X is the number of exhausted players. I was even thinking of that. That's why I didn't go crazy with the exhausting. Oh, I even thought about reading one of your characters early. Yeah, but... I should have done it too. I, I didn't. Oh. Uh, yeah, like I had it last time too. I only have to do three. One, two, three, four. I have to do. One. I could put it all on Sam because he's plus one hit point. But if this guy goes away, he's dead. Two. Three. No, let's do two and one. Let's have everybody have a little bit of damage spread across. Four. Okay. okay. So, uh, nobody changed their values being blanked, right? No. Like their willpower buffs or anything? No. Okay. So, we only have six in there. Seven. Seven in there. We're up 11. Up 11. Only five can go on here. Boom. And we can progress it. It says, we defeat it when, uh, we can't defeat it while the Great Bridge is in play. But when it's defeated, we win the game. And we got rid of the wow. bridge a long time ago. Boom. Wow. With some careful play, a little bit of luck, being able to, I was worried that I couldn't even build a board for so long, and I knew when he shows up, he just starts ripping the board apart. But we, it, it's like some of those key cancels that stopped the tokens from removing. Yes. Like made it so we, like we, he didn't really punish us. Yeah, he only had. But look at all, the, yeah, look yeah, at all the damage. Everybody's look damage. At all the damage, like so close. Yeah. Like so close to like all all like a house of cards just all crumbling like everybody's like one away on my side. <laughs> not having any more cancels in hand and those cards start showing up. Like when these start showing up, I was like, oh crap, I should have saved my cancels for this kind of effect. I thought that was gonna lose it for us. 
Oh, oh man. Daggers. Where were my day? Oh, one. Another stone, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I don't know. Another hobbit cool coming. Yeah, I was like, I have all these purple resources building up, and I'm just like, come on. I want this one to show up. Like, it'd just be fun, like, to ready everything up. That would have made those cards useless that uh, hurt us having exhausted characters. Yep. But I never got the, the money to spend purple on. Glad you were they only also, showed up one time. You were also getting close on your threat, too. Another, yeah, yeah. like, zoomed or something. And... 47, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have a fair mirror in my deck. I never see this guy. Get this off of me. Boom. We made it through. We won. We did. Is it backwards hat or backwards the blue hat. shirt? No, it's backwards, backwards hat all day, hat. every day. Okay. Yep. Backwards hat. Also, Ultraviolet's birthday. Oh, yeah. So, Ultravioletta, I, I know you're not, gonna, you're not supposed to say it out loud because you shouldn't say what your birthday wish was before you blew the candles. But I know it was that we win tonight on stream. I know you did it. You, like, just blink twice. You don't have to say it. And, uh, yeah, thank you for that birthday wish. We appreciate yeah. it. Um, thank you for wish and praying to the uh, wishing, wishing and prayers to the uh, card draw gods. Uh, much appreciated. Thank you so much. <laughs> 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 or uh, no that's wink twice it's blink twice yeah yeah blink twice i don't even know what i'm saying i did feel better about this one as a whole like the archery's not coming out together well, we and... dealt with them the other time we just left them sitting there and we were like do we optionally engage no because if we do it'll remove doom or whatever and we're like no it's not yeah but it's like we should have in that play just get them in, out of play kill them so we don't have to have all that damage yeah <laughs> Kate with the super chat backwards wizard hat for the win yes. so, so now you know you have to wear this hat backwards every no, time we play because only after you lose oh only on second play yes oh, okay it, it it does something with the luck in the air like shifts the the vortex force of the luck flow in the universe I don't know right. something murder is always the option <laughs> I hope we get something good from this because this one was a challenge thank you Kay, for the super chat thank you thank you thank you thank, thank you, you thank you uh yeah that was nuts what's the difficulty on the next one do you have a little booklet or yeah. i have the booklet i have a digital booklet yeah let's peek all together and I'm we got curious. to see our outcome here oh yeah yeah what's our outcome oh yeah we actually won it yeah we don't have to get the back i know there was talk about how are we gonna oh yeah let's find out. out resolution the first player must choose uh, you. me must choose one of the burden treachery cards pursued by the enemy or shadow of fear. So the blanking one. Blanking one. Which one was pursued by the enemy? Please say it wasn't one of those crappy attachments. No, I don't think so. No. Yeah, it was the two that got shuffled in. So it's the doom one and surge. Each of any enemy not in the staging area where the player makes an attack. So if we have enemies build up in front of us and don't kill them on the same turn, it becomes a problem. Mm-hmm. Not usually a problem for me. Oh, they're both doing one in surge. That sucks. And this one's blanking everybody. What, what do you we... have, what do you have to do with it? Uh, we keep it with us going forward, probably. Oh, I, I see. Think. I That's see. what I think it's doing. Uh, and one of the burden oh. objective cards, and that's the attachments, right? Yeah. Yep. Burden objective card. I mean, the one when you oh, lose a character. Oh, grievous wound and overcome by grief. Oh my god. I think the one where if you lose a character, he's exhausted. That's better than the damaged one. Would you not say? And add it to the campaign pool. If the Balrog is still in play, the first player must choose all four <gasps> burdens instead. Oh, we should have read yeah. this last time. What are we choose? I was about to do a poll. Oh no. Balrog says no poll. Oh, why did Stupid didn't tall we... Gandalf, I show you. The chosen burdens have been earned earned by the players. I love earning stuff in my quests. I love earning stuff. I like the way they wrote that. Like, we didn't even keep reading at all to realize that was the case. Stupid. We're like, oh, already trying these, to decide what cards we want. These are all going to be there next time. So yeah. we got the wounds, and we got annoying. these stupid things, plus the other ones we added, the one you added when we didn't need to add it. I remember all that. <laughs> Yeah, Clearly. Yeah. <laughs> Holy. Wow. So let's go and check the difficulty of the wow. next scenario and crank it up a little bit based on those burdens we just got. <laughs> Maybe it's taking that into account, though. I don't know. Well, we are playing on easy, too. But it's just relative. 
Because <laughs> this one was scenario five, right? Yeah. And scenario five is difficulty level eight. Okay. Okay. Give us a six. Seven. Seven. Okay. So it's supposedly a little bit easier than this one. Okay. Breaking of the Fellowship. Multiple oh. staging areas. We've played this oh, stuff before. Oh, we've played this before. Yeah, we've played it where it breaks it apart. In all the LCGs, there's stuff like this. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> yeah, multiple staging areas. Okay. That's fun. Oh, it's only one encounter set again with none of the stuff carrying over. Okay. Just the burdens. Is this the last scenario? For this campaign box, yes. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Yeah, there's six in each of the repackaged boxes. There was originally three in each of the deluxe expansions or whatever. Okay. Hot damn! We won! I did not expect that. I hmm. thought we were marching into death today. Just maybe a little more educated death. Maybe closer death, because we know it was coming, and we've seen it before, and like I said last time, it helps like immensely, even at the mulligan stage. You're just like, you now know like what to look for, what worked last time, what didn't work, what, what do I really need, let's try something different maybe. Well, we did try a few things different. Like, I wonder if starting you as first player. No. And I the locations. I messed it up with the stupid Steward of Gondor crap that happened. That yeah. almost... Like, I mean, if we lost, I'd have been yelling at you about that later for sure. <laughs> I'd have never let it down. It's still, it's still fucking you. If yes, we won. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good morning, honey. Oh. Shut up. You didn't give me Steward of Gondor <laughs> yesterday. I, give, I hate you. I did give him the option on which one you wanted to play first. I know, but I missed one little nugget of information that you didn't make clear that you couldn't play it for a few turns. Well, uh, if a card costs two, <laughs> I don't know where the... <laughs> We're good. Oh, he's giving it back to me now. Take your steward of God Angrily. back. I don't want your crap. <laughs> I'll play my own next time when I need it. <laughs> well, you didn't see it, though, did you? Yeah, I saw two of them. Oh, okay. I saw both copies, yeah. Okay. I think I only have two. That's funny. Yeah, I saw both after. That is funny. Those unexpected courages, though. Holy, I got more yeah. than I needed. If I had two of those really early... That would have like really made me comfortable. Yeah, they're definitely helpful. Agreed. Uh... Anyways, Rob using his lack of mathing to blame Mel. Yeah, but I don't know if Mel had other ways of making resources or like what not. she was doing. I don't not know. Not if I give you my card that makes additional resources. What? Like the Steward of Gondor. But I don't know what cards are in your deck that you got like a I, I horn do have, in there that I makes I do have money. one horn, but I didn't see yeah, it. Yeah, like I didn't know. Who I knows what you have? I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah. I have no idea what's going on in the little Hobbit deck I will over be there. I will be more clear when I'm giving you my cards next time of when that can happen. Yeah. Because then it, it would have, I drew, didn't I still draw into my, no, that was Mulligan. Later on, I think. Yeah, I think I maybe I saw it later. I don't even remember. Whatever. But again, who knows? Because maybe putting the two... Questing power on her early actually helped us quest through faster. I, it did. I think so. it helped a lot. Yeah, yeah. It's not like I was drawing into big expensive cards. It only, it only would have sped up the northern trackers. Maybe getting in a turn earlier to like right. start doing their shenanigans. Right. And obviously, the quicker you play it in a scenario, the more benefit you're getting from it. Yep. 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 <sighs> Little I know when I deck is a mystery. Yeah, when I saw this deck, I was really intrigued by it too, and I thought it looked real cool to pilot, so I picked this one. Yeah, I gave Mel the choice. I was like, yeah. pick whichever deck you want. Take a look through both of them. I built them. They're sitting there. Ban through the cards. See what yeah. you like. As soon as I looked at the heroes and kind of how they interacted together with the lowing lower threat and stuff, I thought it was very neat. Yeah, I was wanting to try them. I knew, I knew. I think I did play around with a Hobbit deck. I think we did build one. Uh, around when this set came out, I remember we used to play three and four player. I remember building like the theme decks, uh, you know, so when we had like Kyle and Justin playing, like one was playing like a Rohan deck, a Gondor deck, a mm -hmm. Elf deck, a Hobbit deck. I had a Dwarf deck, like, and I just let everyone pick whichever kind of theme they wanted. And uh, it was super fun. So fun to play this game with four people at the table and have like so many effects and options. It's just, 
the amount of freaking encounter cards you draw every round, oh, yeah. I remember, was like a nightmare. Yeah. Just like, and you and you get through the deck so fast. So like, all those horrible treacheries are just like, you, they're like out again. And you're like, what, again? I've seen this one six times already. And it's like three turns into the game, it feels like. It's just, I remember that was pretty rough. But it was still fun to have everyone and like everyone checking. Do you have a Gandalf to drop in? Nope, not yet. Oh, I have Gandalf in play still. Okay, don't play your Gandalf. Okay, we all have three Gandalfs in our deck and like three uh, sneak attacks in everyone's deck at the table. Um, yeah, it was, it was good times. <laughs> Kate says, the game shines at four people though. Yeah, it's it definitely fun. Depends on the scenario though. I remember this game is notorious for having very poorly scaled difficulty scenarios that like just the base, ma base math doesn't make sense where it's like, it doesn't do the normal like uh, Marvel Champions they learned, right? So usually they're scaling like equal to players in the game. You get that player symbol X, right? Mm -hmm. In this game, sometimes, like even the Balrog, the Balrog still has 25 health. He still hits for eight, no matter how many players in the game, okay? Only one player can attack him, so that doesn't really make, make a difference, but still, he doesn't scale. So if you're playing solo, you still have this idiot show up and like start smashing your stuff and you can like never attack him. I think by design, it's just that way, but it's just things like that, like show up or like um, the stages, uh, the amount of quest points you can put on a stage doesn't scale most of the time. Right. It's still 14. Like we have to get 14 progress through amongst both of us. I know the encounter cards scale. So less is in the staging area to try to balance that, but there's just some key fundamental foundations to this game. And in a lot of scenarios, I noticed. I, I see it a lot. There's cards that are literally like very punishing for different player counts. Like they, they just don't, don't, it's not smooth. Um, so yeah, I remember just some scenarios were like really rough at four player, but some, some were rough at two and one and even three um, just because of scaling. But uh, yeah. Also the things that, that, that make you put damage on characters. Sometimes they don't scale as nice as the ones in this. Um, because like uh, the archery too, for example, on that that little guy, the 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 uh, those archers that were in play. Yeah. So you just have to put two at the start of combat. Well, when you have four players with the bodies on the table, putting two damage out on on something is like oh whoopie do. Yeah, it's not as bad. Yeah, but at least his his come into play effect, his win revealed effect was uh, scaled like X is number of players in the game. So you can tell they learned by this point to start to do some of that stuff. But man, there are some scenarios I remember that was like, that's bad. But uh, yeah, that's the only downside I find. But I mean, you could scale some of them yourself and like, we've learned since then. But yeah, I don't know. That was fun. Mm -hmm. That was tight. That was fun. It was dangerous. It made sense. It was tense. Well, just like, uh, I think it was Alan last time talking about Moria or Michael. Was Alan or Michael or both were making comments last time about like, this is what you expect from Moria. Mm -hmm. I think it was one of them. Like, I'm misremembering probably, but there was just some fun comments in the chat last time about what do you expect from Moria? Moria means death in another language, all this kind of stuff. And this is what they expect to see from a scenario under the mountain with the Balrog and the orcs and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see what the next one I'll, has in store for us. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned to the channel, subscribe, turn on notifications, set reminders, all that stuff. I haven't scheduled the next one yet. I gotta think. Because uh, I know Gen Con sent out an email this week. Uh, the catalog is available for events starting May 7th. Which is Sunday? But booking events isn't till like... Next week. The 20th or something. Or oh. somewhere around... I forget which the date is. I can't remember either. But there's a week or two you have to look at... Uh, I don't know, maybe I can find it. But there's a week or two in there... Uh, You're right, maybe you did it. Yeah, it opens May 21st. So event ticket registration is May 21st, but the, the catalog, the initial events that have built up already are going to be in the catalog May 7th, but then up until literally Sunday of the convention in August, new events are constantly added. So starting May 7th, but you literally want to look like every single day and you can build a wish list and start adding events onto a wish list. So that on May 
first, you can submit ahead of time your wish list, and it'll do its own little algorithm, whatever, and then present back to you what tickets are available and add them to your cart. And then you have like a very limited time to pay for those events or they're gone back into the system and somebody else will get them. Uh, so it's a little process. So I want to do a stream addressing this, mm -hmm. talking specifically about Gen Con event stuff, but I don't know whether I do it closer to when the wish list matters. What day of the week? No, no. Oh, and oh, yes, online registration is this weekend for, but we don't care about that convention. Uh, is Gen Con online only? You can register for badges this weekend, but those are like, they can't sell out. Those are unlimited. So there's no need to like make a stream about that issue. So, but that is a good point, Kate. That, that is the same date that the catalog goes live for in person events. I don't think, maybe online events are in there too, but I doubt it. But whatever. Yeah, so they're both Sundays. Yeah, yeah, it's always a Sunday. But I don't want to do it on the Sunday because I'm. we're going to be trying to get events yeah, and buying events sure. and stuff, right? Yeah. And I don't want it to be too late that people who miss the live stream watch later and they're like, oh, because that was our problem last year. We did everything too late. So we do it the week, then in the middle? I don't know. Sometime after this Sunday when the catalog is live so we can look through it on stream would be nice. Right. But also give it some time for more publishers and, and event organizers to add more events to it. So when we do look at it, there's more in there. Because stuff keeps getting added from the, all the way till the convention, even, even during the convention. Stuff keeps getting added. But obviously we mainly only care about stuff that's added before we make the wish list and submit it. Right. So I'll constantly, basically starting Sunday, be checking almost every single day. Just checking for events. Checking for events. Just seeing if any publishers added some. So, so I can throw them on a wish list so I don't miss them. But uh, I guess I don't need to check every day. I just need to check the day before submitting the wish list. But um, yeah. So I was thinking of instead of this Sunday playing this game as usual, do we do the stream looking at it? But maybe I just wait till like the next weekend because it's not that important yet. Yeah. So I'll just wait. So we'll probably play this Sunday is what I'm trying to say. And if not, next week sometime. So stay tuned. Long-winded answer on when the next episode is, and you got no answer out of that. All right, sweet. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the super chats. Thanks to all 26 like clickers. Thank you for clicking the like button. Much appreciated. Thank you. And uh, hope you join us for the next episode of this game. Uh, tomorrow, around the same time we played this game, we'll be playing Thunderstone Quest again. This time with the Barricades mode expansion, we did get it from like the one store left in Canada, in Quebec, that had an English copy, crazy, in the French province. They had, an, it was the only place I could find a copy, it was English. That's why it was there, they didn't want it. Yeah, nobody wanted the, the English <laughs> copy. So we got it, I've already played it solo off camera and learned it, so tomorrow night I'll be teaching Mel and Kyle the differences on stream, so join us, and then we'll play through a scenario and see if we can pull out a win. Um, Spoiler alert, as probably you guys already know, because this expansion's been out for like three years or so, uh, it does make the game better, in my opinion. Much better, I think. Um, but it's still a little rough. It's not the best solo variant I've ever seen of a game. Feels a little rushed, a little sloppy, but I mean, it's AEG, so I've, yeah, they don't really make quality over there, but they do okay. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, we'll be playing that tomorrow on stream, and then, uh, yeah, Frost Haven this weekend. That's probably happening for sure, I think. Mm -hmm. And Final Girl on Friday, playing another Final Girl, Girl scenario. I watched the movie Strangers today, which I did see before, because I remembered some parts of it. Uh, the Strangers, The Strangers from 2008, which the scenario is based off of. Um, so join me on Friday for that as we check out that horror-themed solo-only game and play in the scenario based on the movie The Strangers, which would be fun. Spoiler alert, don't feed your level three characters to vampire job. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. There Life is, lesson. Yeah, there is another way to add vampires into the game with some of the new components. And I looked at it, I'm like, no, I shouldn't do it. Stay away. <laughs> Stay away. But it, it was there. I was like, man, do I try the vampires again? But using this new way to, to, to try them? I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, thank you all for watching. And we'll see you in the next stream. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.